We are opening get it, get it. our yeah. trade deadline hangout. Oh, yes. I Paul Pierce. All pee. Matt Barnes. Yeah. Here, Woo. Boogie Cousins, fresh off an yeah. airplane yeah. Yeah. from Vegas. Damn. Boy, look clean, Kevin, too. MVP Garnett. Let's get it. Let's yeah. get it. Let's and that chair it. will be in just a few minutes. Your running mate, Mr. Ray Rondo. Rondo. Yeah. 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 Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. This is great because what I love about what we're doing here today is if there's more trades over the next couple hours, It'll you're going to get them from us. Yeah. We'll, we'll chat about them. We'll, we'll break down for you. If there is not a lot of action, guess what? You still have some of the most decorated guys in the league <laughs> Storytellers. here oh, man. to sit around, yeah. talk hoop, tell stories, do the whole thing. So we are going to have fun. And guys, AU. I got to tell you. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't do it right. Oh, damn. No, I didn't do it right. Yeah. Ooh, That's what we're going to get for a trip. <laughs> hey, listen, let me say something. I'm going to kick this off. Man, this is, first off, oh, some real shit. Can we all agree that after camp and getting cut, this is the second worst day in all of sports? Mm -hmm. right. yeah. I'm being dead ass, yo. Right. For all fans watching this, man, trades is the journey of one of your compadres, one of your brothers getting ready to go on a whole nother journey, and then you having to be open to someone coming into the team to help the team. And, you know, going through the process of him joining the team and becoming your brother. So, man, tra trades, tra I can't speak for everybody here, but trade day was a hard day for me, especially when I connected with a guy mm -hmm. and it was real cool and we got MP. You know how it is. Yeah, you yeah. need a guy. He come in like, like me and Funk. We, we really jailed when we got together. You know what I'm saying? So we had a, you know, when the bigs on the defense and on the offense, we got to always be in continuity. Right. So that wasn't just so Fluid. You know, I play with some guys that don't want to listen, or you call him the call, he lazy to get there. You know, it, the continuity is such an underrated thing in the sport. So, man, trade day used to be a hard day for me just because of the connections that I made with all the guys. I think you on the flip saying? side, though, though, Ticket, it was a blessing in disguise for us in 07 with Golden State, where we're getting rid of Mike Dunleavy and Troy Murphy and coming in with Steven Jackson and Al Harrington. Mm. They kind of changed the traje trajectory yeah. of our whole team, brought life back to our team, brought energy back to our team. Blocked, brought, brought a dope smoker to our team. And from there, <laughs> from there we was rolling. You know what I mean? Like it, it was, it was yeah, <laughs> literally, yeah, literally was and physically. So I hear you though. I mean, I agree. You know, you're on, me and this dude went through some something in Sacramento and I'm sure yeah. we'll get to it about how they were telling me the whole season I was supposed to be the boogie whisperer. So the whole season, the GMs, the owners, well, DeMarcus good, we're not trading him, DeMarcus good. The next thing you know, this dude's at the All-Star game in New Orleans oh. getting traded while he's interviewed. We will discuss. Damn. So we're going to talk about that. Yes. That was crazy. Oh, absolutely. Well, first, got to run down the trades that have already happened today. And guys, this yeah, we're, we're is down. sick. All right. Sixers picking up Buddy Healed. I like that. They then, Indiana? then they sent Pat Bev over to the Bucks oh, in exchange what? for campaign and a second rounder. The Knicks got Bogdanovich okay. and Alec Burks Love back that. on the team. From Detroit? Love mm -hmm. that. They got Bogey. Mm -hmm. Wait, who hey, got listen. Bogey? Who got her? Bo the, the New York. The Knicks. Knicks. And, 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 and didn't give up no first round picks for it. Exactly. Either. I'm just going to finish running through these. Thunder traded for Gordon Hayward. Solid. Dallas, which definitely needed to do something. This is crazy. They sent Seth Curry and Grant Williams and, and a, pick. a first round pick to Charlotte to pick up PJ Washington. Dang, that so that's a good pickup. That's a lot. That a lot. Is a good, good pickup, pick but that's a, but that's it's a lot. lot. They gave up a lot for it. The Suns armed up. They got Royce O'Neal from the Nets, David Roddy from Memphis. Now I got to point out, the Suns were hoping to get Miles Bridges today. That was their target for the day. What? But Last been. night, Miles Bridges. Bridges from Brooklyn? No, no, no. no. Miles Bridges. No, Charlotte. that's Mikael Bridges. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. He he's been, he, the he's dunk been track. hitting it, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, back 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 last two games are 40 four. pointers. Yep. Yeah. But here's yeah, what's crack. interesting. I like he, has, he doesn't have a no trade clause, but he can say no to trades because he's on like a one year contract where it's, it's like a complicated CV thing. For, but just for this one year, he can say no to trades. And he has told them, he told them as of last night, apparently. I don't want to be traded. I'm not going to accept or approve any that? trades. Why Wait, who is this? So, <laughs> Bridges. Miles Bridges. Hey, listen. Miles Bridges. listen. Money wise. Think about this, though, right quick. Uh, he's okay. trying to reestablish himself. All right. He's, man, really, God bless him. I'm glad he's back in the league. I'm glad he's back focused. He's playing great. I'm happy for this kid. He's trying to, he's trying to get somewhere and be solid there. To move huh. around and be going to a new system where. But also, to get to it, he, he get the contract kicker if he stays. That's, that's what I'm going to say. Uh, that's that's nice. what, I bet he got some incentives. Yeah. But, but yeah. this. Mm. So if he stays in Charlotte, he gets to keep his bird rights. That'll be a so that'll year. completely change his oh, yeah. negotiations. Oh, yeah. That's a no-brainer. That makes sense. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. But I don't know. Would you, but would you, would no. you give that up? 
and go to the Suns no, 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 with no, Kevin Durant no, and sorry. no. Okay, no all right, all right. And he, <coughs> that first contract and is he, all he, about he the money. The right it is. It is. I get it. The right it is. I get it. That first contract, that first contract, all about the bread. Then you worry about the championship. All yeah. right. So Toronto and the Nets oh, did a deal swapping Spencer Biddy, uh, Dinwiddie <coughs> and Dennis Schroeder. Not as big a deal, obviously, but we expect maybe Dinwiddie will get bought out. We'll see. We'll talk about that later in the show. So of all of those deals, and that's a lot today. Ah, damn. Who, which team do you think is going to have the biggest impact from these trades? I like the Knicks move because they mm -hmm. didn't have to give up a ton and they still have room to get a, a superstar in the offseason. So you get Bogdanovich, who's a 20-point a game scorer, Burke, who's 14 to 15 but can give you 30 mm -hmm. any given night. They got OG a while back. This is a good team, and I think they're building – momentum you know they're gonna make their run this year but also they have that space to get a superstar next year and then I also like Pat Bev to Milwaukee because mm -hmm. they, they lost uh, Drew Holiday, Holiday. Holiday. Yeah. he was the key to the, he was the key to that team with all due respect yeah. and you know you get Dame who's an offensive player not much of a defense player you get Pat Bev's energy yeah. so I'm interested to see what Pat Bev still has in the tank <coughs> what about, what about I think, I think the so, underrated uh, move is probably gonna be Buddy Hill to Philadelphia Philly. especially yeah. if and B comes back and gets back to where he was playing that level because you add another veteran shooter. Mm -hmm. And when you got a guy that has so much impact on the inside, you need more shooting, Thank you me. know. And I think that's that's going to be an underrated move, you know, moving forward because they're they're a contender to me. You mm -hmm. know, they're one of the three teams in the East. I like the Knicks. You know what they did? They added more depth, but I'm not sure if they're on the same level mm -hmm. of a Boston, Yet. Milwaukee, mm -hmm. and Sixers went healthy. So. I like, I like that, that Buddy Hill. Indiana move. was a good. Indiana's rolling, so I, yeah. I think that's going to be a big loss for them. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I mean, he was a key a component. Who they trade for? Who, who came? Who's coming to Indiana? So Buddy Hill is going to the Sixers. Yep. I don't know who's no, on Buddy the Sixers. Uh, Buddy Hill's going to the Sixers. Who, yeah. yeah. Who's coming to? Uh, who Indiana? did Indy get back? Who Do did? we know? Morris. Oh yeah, Marcus, Marcus Morris. Morris. Marcus Morris. OG. Sorry, I got like 16 names in front of me. Listen, Haywood. I like Haywood, but he hasn't shown no real. Like longevity in his situation. You think you know it's you saying? think like, it's mental ticket from the it, shit from breaking his ankle the way PG it, did and not be really being that. Season you, you, gotta, this you gotta be. He's solid that. this year though. Has he been? Nah, yeah. nah he hasn't again? been. He's okay. been hurt. That's solid. He, he's out with a foot again. I, I don't want to sound like this, but if if you can take Haywood and what uh, his potential and what he was giving Charlotte and implement that into um, uh, OKC. Mm -hmm. OKC. You know what I love about them? They got a solid. I tell them, Peter. They got a solid eight. That you can get on the island, and they can, and they Yo, can. Too. I say, oh, Joe Wallace, man, they got some ISO kings up there that is perfect for their system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you can't come in there and, and plug into that, man, and then you got to play D. All those guys play defense. Mm -hmm. All those guys I just named, the Wallace kids, they come in, they give. Man, one thing I love about OKC, they got a really nice bench that mm -hmm. they can come in. The stars can actually take a good six, seven, eight minute break. You know, that's a huge deal. Mm -hmm. Come back, get them refreshed. Um, I, I, I like the Haywood if, if it can be. The Haywood of what we need him to be, you know what I'm saying? You think but that I, move can get him over the top? They, they real. You are you serious? I'm very serious because they're OKC already. OKC can really contend for a championship this year. Absolutely. Listen, Ooh. Minnesota, OKC, Indiana, they are the future teams. The now teams. I think the Knicks are too. The Knicks too. Yeah. Listen, to this though, the now teams, the Milwaukee's, the Celtics, uh, 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 the Clippers, those are now. Yeah. If you ain't winning in the next two years, up oh, trying to chop this up. We got to we got to switch yeah. this up. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. The, 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 the progression rate right now, Shea Alexander and Luka might be, not hands down, but might be they top five. Top five players. They top five right now. Seen ja. Yeah, they top five right ja. now. Listen, I was thinking about this. I'm going a little bit. I'm going to get back to you. But, man, can you believe in the All-Star game? Zion Williamson is not an All-Star. Bro, that's – Bro, we're going to look back on this and be here. like, what in the fuck? It's a, for, but it's then, a lot of look, talent, though. I'm dead. Who are you dead taking out. off the no, West? No, 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 no. I'm just we'll, saying, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Even from a not yeah. all-star. Just to you not be an all-star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So the, the, the progression rate right now with stars? Bro, if you ain't it, bro, they it's just going to get It's all front loaded on the West. Bro, it's a lot of stars in our league right now that can be the face and can be the superstar. It, it lead it like this. That's all I'm saying. I yeah. agree that those teams you named are next, but I got to see it in the playoffs. Yeah. No, no, no. On paper, that's they're the, next. That's the X factor, right. though. But when you play this, the star is stepping up. Bro, you yeah, watching yeah. Anthony Edwards? Yeah, you're a killer. Edwards. It's the future, boy. Yeah, he's a killer. Boy, listen. Killer. He got an old school <laughs> spirit killer. with him. You know he what I'm dog. saying? But I want to see that in the play. I want to see so OKC that's the X in Minnesota. That's why I say they're the next. They're one and two in the West. I want to see how they handle it. Yeah. You mean? Because that's a lot of pressure being one and two in the West. They the first top 10 pair that you can go. Cat, 
arguably could be one of the best bigs in the league and, and, and that one two man that's very rare. Yeah, but that's rare. a team that could end up seeing like say the Lakers in the first round of the playoffs yeah. if the Lakers are in that bottom half of the bottom you don't chunk of the, the bracket. Right? Nobody I'm not confident in that. They got to make it. They got to make it. They got to make it. it. One thing you always got with LeBron James. But if they make it. You got the lead. They built for the playoffs. You got the lead. They're They're old. They're big. You got LeBron James. I feel good that the Lakers will end up top 10 in the West. (laughs) Man, for real. You got the lead. You got LeBron. You saw LeBron James didn't play, right? As soon as he get to the Knicks. Prime time. You know I, I told you that. Remember, bro, I, I shot told that. You. I shot that. I, I said, didn't say that. He coming to the Knicks. He finna show out, bro. When they take them little, I see what it is. You got now. something, Nate? Mm-hmm. Oh, you got Nate? something cooking, oh, oh, Nate? Oh, oh. oh. Goo fire. Lakers not looking to make a deal, according to Chris Haynes, but they're going to stay pat at the end. Oh. Woo, so, all right. Oh. I don't know. That's not a, they're so, not doing anything. Let me say something. All right, let me throw this to y'all. So let me ask y'all something. If Ron ain't playing for a chip, what we doing? Collecting money. So what we doing? That's, that's what we doing. <laughs> <laughs> they playing for a chip, bro. Well, they not playing for no chip. Value if you is don't up. Make no moves. If you don't make no moves, Laker fans ain't cool with what's going on. They gonna try to. They gonna play in the buyout market. That's All right. So where the Lakers are right, right, so right so now? Wait, no so buyout wait, market. So Chris Haynes, for part of my recap, Chris Haynes for TNT Bleacher Report reporting that the Lakers are not going to do anything. This has a lot of implications, guys, right? Because, first of all, that means D'Angelo Russell will be staying, which, he you know, playing the, well. the, th- the thinking was, yeah. hey, are you, are you yeah. really going to get someone back who's playing better oh, and man. worth giving up an asset? But yeah. here's the flip side of she D'Angelo Russell is he has a player option <laughs> he can pick up this summer for nearly $20 million. Ooh. If he picks it up, it further hamstrings the Lakers in terms of what they can do because there is a new rule – coming in as of this summer that you can't aggregate salaries, meaning if I want to trade for Kevin Garnett, I can't send three guys back that total your salary to get you. What's that the, can't happen anymore for about a third of the teams wow. in the NBA, the ones who are way up wow. in the luxury tax. So how do, how do they match salaries now? Has so to be player it player has to be player, player, player for player, player and you wow. can't send cash back either. And the teams, Damn. yes, the teams Ooh. that are going to be affected by this is like basically the top third in the league. Let me oh. see if I got the list here. So you've got the Bucks, Celtics, Nuggets, Warriors, Clippers, Lakers, Miami Heat, Minnesota Timberwolves Jesus. and Phoenix Suns will all fall under this new rule this summer. Mm. And deals like the Clippers getting James Harden, that wouldn't have happened past this summer. Damian Lillard to the Bucks wouldn't have happened mm. past this summer. Drew Holiday to the Celtics wouldn't have been able to happen. And Bradley Beal wouldn't have been allowed to go to the no, Suns. So right. you have a lot of things that have been the big movers in the NBA so far this mm. year. Like, they just won't happen again. Yeah. You know what's crazy? <clears throat> Paul called this. Paul, Paul, one day, we didn't argue, but we had a nice little ritter. Y'all didn't argue? We didn't. We had a nice little ritter. <laughs> <We always laughs> ritter. A nice ritter. <laughs> nice ritter. Now, Lord be saying some wild shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, don't nobody yeah, ever correct yeah, Lord either. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, we are in the middle of a change. The shifting of the league is moving as we speak. Now, I'm like, what you mean? He was like, bro, you, you see the rules? You see the da-da-da? He started naming all these other little things. Mm-hmm. And I've been watching it, Pete. This yeah. is one of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is so, a big one. Bro, this yeah. is like the this, this gonna is, fuck the league. Up. This is like James <laughs> Kennedy starting the Nasdaq and and everything yeah, yeah. that's on, and then made all the rules, made all the bread, then made the rules to it, and then couldn't nobody get bread like nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if y'all know the JFK dad yeah. story, yeah. I'm just I'm 100%. going here. It's gonna be but, a lot of teams well, the in, re- in the mud, bro. The, yeah. Exactly. And the reason they did this was again, you know, it's my favorite topic, Bug. The owners couldn't clean up their own houses yep. and control their own spending, uh, them so they had to have Adam Silver come in and babysit for them and mm-hmm. basically create what is in essence going to be a hard cap for a top section of the league yeah. where they can't move guys anymore. So mm. the Lakers, if they stand pat at the deadline, as Chris Haynes is reporting, and he's super plugged in, that's going to have not just a ripple effect for the rest of the season, but that's going to have a ripple effect going forward. Mm-hmm. And D'Angelo Russell, if he picks up that option, that means – even you, you can't, you won't have room for like a $40 million a year, like big third star to add into the Lakers. Don't this have, is a big decision they're making. I think making. he played himself into a longer term deal, though, after this year. I think they you lit know, a fire under his ass because he, he just wasn't being himself for a long time of the season. And they talk yeah. about you want to get out of here. He obviously didn't want to get out of here. He started playing like we know he's capable of playing. Right. So if this is your team, not just for the rest of the season, but maybe with some tweaks, except for some tweaks in the foreseeable future, is LeBron ever going to get to the finals? But also, again? you got to think they still is have. Is LeBron staying? Hold on. He had that just a Brian, though. He's a point guard. Let's <laughs> but keep have, it real. They D- still have picks, though, right? And they can, they're talking about they'll getting They'll have three picks possi- starting this, this summer. This summer. And there's talks that Donovan Mitchell might, 
you know, come out, come out this way. Man, so the picks are going to yeah. come into the league and make a difference. You know this. Yeah. They're right, just yeah. valuable pieces. But one thing, let's keep it 100. D. Russ is a point guard. Man, you know what kind of adjustment you got to have to LeBron James dominating the ball? You got, you got to figure it out. And it probably took him, what, a month and a half to figure out, okay, I'm just going to shoot mine when I got it. That's what it looked like. He like. Oh, but they putting the ball in his hand more now. I mean, dude tired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude yeah. tired and then yeah. on top of it, yeah. on top of it, when bro sit down, now I can get off. Yeah. Right. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. So let's right. keep it 100, man. Probably I'm lost that aggressiveness. To the, man, yeah, I'm just to LeBron to James is hard, bro. Yeah, yeah. Imagine coming in and you was the man and then KD in here. Look at, I mean, real yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah, Booker, no doubt. it's yeah. your team, bro, but. You ain't finna say shit to KD if he come oh, down. And, you know what I'm saying? Right. But that's, that's what I'm saying. That's why LeBron's always been great with role players that space and shoot the ball. When this, you get other motherfuckers this, that need the ball in their hand, there's, there's a learning curve. It takes this. a minute. How, how do I step? Back? How do I sit back or not step on toes? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Technically, he only been good with one, and that's Kyrie. Kyrie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Throughout his history, it's only really been one guy that's mm-hmm. meshed with him perfectly. Right. That's ball dominant. I was gonna say. So first of all, we are one hour away from the deadlines. So <laughs> <you should> mark <laughs> that. <laughs> one hour to go. Do you want to tell them the crazy ass scheme that you it tried to crazy. tell me over last earlier this week? We just spoke on it. D'Angelo Russell's playing great. He's playing, you know, probably the best he's played in his career, probably since he was in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what do you want to do with him if I'm you were the Lakers in this Kyrie. next hour? Ooh, I'm flipping him for Kyrie. Kyrie. Absolutely, yes, bro. But nah, Brooklyn if you're the Lakers, Kyrie. sure. If you're Dallas, Dallas you're not doing, picking Dallas up the phone. That. Why not? Dallas ain't doing that. They don't know, they don't there's want no Russell way that's a good deal for that's Dallas. Perfect there's perfect nothing in the world that makes that a good deal. That's perfect. It is because he don't need the Because he can play. Because he's also a catch-and-shoot player. Kyrie's not necessarily that. Well, if I'm Dallas, I'm not doing it. Well, that's what I mean. I mean, it's going to be more than just D-Low, but... I was going to ask this to the group, man. Kyrie's been like on the. I haven't heard a lot of him this year. You know, usually we hear Kyrie Kyrie in conversation. I saw him. That's the first time. That's the first time I've seen him like on this level, though. I haven't. He's out injured for a chunk, too. See? So, So, you know what I'm saying? Um, Which is going to happen with him. It is. I feel like Kyrie is Kyrie in LA. Kyrie in Dallas, it's going to always be a little shadow. Listen. And that's. It's for more reasons than one, but. Kyrie and Dallas. It's yeah, gonna it could be good be for shot. Kyrie. It could be good for the Lakers. It's not good for the Mavericks. <laughs> but the Mavericks are kind of mediocre right now. That's well, what I'm, it's, it's not like they playing so here's great. The like, we right? just talked they about should watch. shake it up. Oh, shit. Here we go. What happened? Well, look, we PJ? just talked about the stakes. That's what I was going to say. We just yeah. talked about the stakes for the Lakers, right, if they don't do anything in this hour. Here's the stakes for Dallas and why they probably were so aggressive and dealt Grant Williams and Seth Curry and a first-round pick That's to get P.J. Washington. If you end this season – not making the playoffs like last season or losing even in the first round or having to get to the play-in and then running up against the number one seed and losing in the first round. If you're Luka Doncic, you are sitting around this summer thinking, what the hell is going on, Ooh. right? Why am I doing this? Jason Kidd just came out this week and called Luka Doncic better than Dirk Nowitzki. He said he's the best player to ever play in the Dallas franchise, and he said he's been saying it for a while. And Jason Kidd came out and said that he's up there in the LeBron, Kobe, Michael Jordan territory is where he is going to end up. Oh, it's high so. Can he get through? How many years has Luka been in the league? Can we he's get 24. 10 years? Five, maybe. Can we get 10 years? Smoking Man. Man, what hey, is Jason's J. That's Kidd. Crazy. That's the future guy. that shit, J. Kidd. Yeah. Let me hear what you hear. You out of pocket. Pass that, J. Kidd. You smoking that J. Kidd, Pat. You out of pocket. Pass that though. shit, dog. <laughs> we know you want to keep him in Dallas, but relax. Right. Luca, nice thing. <laughs> listen, listen, I think Luca's like crazy. the new LeBron, bro. Imagine coming there, and and you a ball dominant guy. You can't be ball dominant, bro. Like him and Kyrie are trying to figure out. Yeah. You go, I go. You go, I go. I really think that the PJ Washington, mm-hmm. this it's young gonna... kid that got drafted, yeah. uh, 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 the young kid that got drafted uh, that plays center, mm-hmm. Luca needs a big that can catch lobs. Yeah. Right. Think about this. If you can catch a lob, you can play. Yep. That's why that kid is also playing a lot more. You talking about lively? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, he catch all the lobs. He yep. will put Absolutely. one on your motherfucking uh, head if yeah. he wanted that. You understand? Mm-hmm. PJ PJ Washington Spread is the a stretch four. He yep. can hit better than Grant Williams because I think Grant it was a more corner three guy. This guy he just he, had he forty two like yeah, two he can shoot. a week and a half ago. You, remember, you know? So I think this is gonna be a good plug for them. They need more weapons. I don't know if it pushes them over the top in the West because the West is so thick. Well, Luka, they didn't even need to get over the top. But, they but just Luka need dominates to get... the ball so much. This style of play is going to be hard to win a championship. I've seen this show already. I've seen it in Houston for five years. Oh, you know, unless he can change his game, yeah. that is. style of play is going to be tough to win a championship when your point guard is ball dominant and, and his usage rate Facts. is like leading the league. Facts. 
That's tough to win. He got to change his game up. And they was a hamstring away, brother. <laughs> That's not a guarantee. Boy. Paul, so Paul, Chris Paul, that if he don't enter his hamstring, hamstring, you think of all time. Oh, yeah, hamstring away, bro. You can't say that didn't work. He dominated. <laughs> yeah. Man, I done seen. They were 50 plus, see. they, they 50 plus a year. Like, you can't say it didn't work. They were hamstring away. It was away. working. It was working. But it was, it's never guaranteed. You know, it was working. We can always have scenarios, but it didn't work. You think Luka can change his so, game, though? I don't know. I don't know. Man, that's, that's what I'm saying. He's played that way his entire but life. But you also got to think, <laughs> even all, as a hold young on, hold, boy, hold, But all three of you guys are superstars, and you changed your way. You changed it. But no, I'm saying Luka never had to change his way. He was the most unselfish superstar yeah. ever. I'm not saying he used saying. the ball, but I'm saying as he got older, he understood what needed to happen right. to win. Although Luca's yeah, young, he's still right. got some more that's years right. before yeah, I feel like he'd get there. But by the point. time Luca's 28, 29, 30, he might be like, damn, I, I'm on pace to do all this. I got all this, but I ain't won nothing as a team. Can I? Yeah. Could but, you ever imagine him playing off the ball? <clears throat> No, I don't know just if I not want to go. I like that's Russell what I, Luka I, on the I ball. Why would I, I take the ball say. out of his hands? Like, so Luca patterned his game after LeBron James. Like he is as close a carbon copy as we have gotten. Obviously, they're not the same player, but the I'm idea is the style. More so harder. yeah, I would go hard. LeBron yeah. consolidated a lot. When yeah. he had the ball come down, his corners all just yeah. he's more hardened. Yeah, he's more hardened. So? Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I don't went, think he's he dabbed. He just went for 70. Oh, <laughs> right. Got a new right. customer. Oh, no. oh, 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 my God. What up? What up? That was your boy. What up? What up, man? Hey, Look at the fake hustle. Yeah. Got his little notebook. And uh, shit. Hey man, school now. Man. Like Dude, this was late. Man. So on the way here, I was drawing up right some back. I just, I just got off the. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, you bro, so like fake hustle, man. That's and, Coach Hondo. And, and I'm at school, bro. What's your name? What's your name? Coach Dog. Walk in with the briefcase. Got the note, man. So what was you? All right, I'm gonna. That's probably that's probably a playbook. I'm gonna catch Rayshon up. All right, I'm gonna catch everyone up who's just tuning in. Here's the big deal. We got so far. I've been on. I've been in the car listening. You got everything. Yes, you got yeah, everything. All right. So yeah. which of those deals? Sixers getting Buddy healed. Uh, Sixers then trading Pat right. Bev to the Bucks. Right. Thunder picking up Gordon Hayward. Uh, Knicks picking up Bogdanovich and Alec Burks from Detroit. Right. Oh, uh, Dallas getting PJ Washington, but sending out Seth Curry and Grant Williams and a first round pick. The Suns picking up Royce O'Neal and David Roddy, but not getting Miles Bridges, who's with who they really wanted today. He is not going anywhere. He's staying in Charlotte. And then Little Swap, uh, Spencer Dimwitty and Dennis Schroeder. So, what do you think? I asked these guys, what, who do you think, which team is going to have the biggest impact from this deadline day? I would say possibly the Knicks. Yeah. The Knicks, you know, they wanted shooting, they wanted depth in their bench, and that's what they got. Yep. Um, I don't think the trade for Philly helps them right now, obviously with Joe Embiid out. Um, Lakers obviously didn't do anything. Right. I think that all, you know, circles around what LeBron's going to do mm -hmm. uh, this summer. He's going to opt into his deal or not. Um, Toronto, Nets trade was like a wash. Um, yeah. But I would say the Knicks. I would say they got better. They've been playing well as of late. One thing about all these moves, out of all the moves, all these moves did – so far is guarantee that they, the teams that made the significant moves, that they would get to the second round. You know what I'm saying? Like the Knicks, it could go either way. I know they playing well, but yeah. all these moves did was like, all right, I guarantee that we get to the second round now instead of a 50-50 swap. Like Dallas, I think, could get to the second round now. Knicks, I think, for sure can get to the second round. But none of these moves said, okay, this top, team yeah, can Over get the to the chip. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was like, all right, these were like kind of like, we can get to the second round, maybe the Good conference pieces. finals. Good pieces. Maybe. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. look, the Knicks needed some help right away, right? Because they have a bunch Injuries. of guys injured. Right. Bogdanovich yeah. is going to jump into the starting lineup oh, right away. Oh. Then he'll move to the bench when they start to get guys back. But they needed more of this kind of stuff. They have their sights, P, on the number two seed. They think As they that should. they can slot into yeah, that yeah, number. As they and should. then well, that puts them in the bracket in a place where, look, they, maybe they end up having a good path to the conference finals. Absolutely. It just depends on where everyone uh, checks where are they out. Are they four they, now? So they are four. They're three they're four. or four. Yeah, the it depends four. on the, where we wake Celtics, up this morning. I think we've Cleveland. got the standings as of this morning. We can then, throw those uh, up on the board. Milwaukee's three. Milwaukee's yeah. Cleveland's four. four. Yeah. Four. Think about the market when you got the the Sixers are – don't have their best player. Milwaukee is playing backwards right now. This is when, if you're New York, New York has all the momentum right now. Right. 
to just zoom up and, mm-hmm. and really contest the and contest the seeds. But they gotta get healthy. Yeah. They gotta get healthy. They gotta but get healthy, but, but their the injuries the aren't like season-ending injuries. Yeah, it's nothing. Oh. Yeah, it's like it's ankle, Shane. elbow. It's That's nothing really Shane. crazy. So Shane, I think this is more love to Brunson. It is. I think Brunson he gets got a little help. Don't get enough love, but I still don't think he gets enough. Did y'all see him the other night after he got named to the All Star team? Did y'all watch that interview? He he get the post game interview. They basically informed him. That, that uh, you know, you're going to the All-Star game. And he started tearing up. I mean, you have to think about this kid who grew up in New York around that organization because of his dad. There's all kinds of pictures of him with all the old great Knicks. He apparently used to be able to do an impression of Charles Oakley and everyone else as a kid, just sort of, you know, because of being around his dad. This is the team he grew up wanting to play for. And by the way, how many kids around the country or certainly in New York were like, you know, I drafted number one for the New York Knicks. You know, you're doing all that stuff in your head on the playground. And he's living that dream and just... Just got named to an all-star team, yeah, and he was yeah. overcome with emotion. It was like really moving. It was very, very cool. Let me ask y'all: Do y'all think Shout Dallas Brunson. will be yeah. better with Brunson instead of Kyrie right now? Yes. Yes. Who? I do. With oh. Brunson instead of Kyrie. And I'm not right even now? saying he's a better player. I think he's a better fit, fit. for yeah, Luca. Yeah. You got to look why, fit. That's and, why I, I said and, the, and, and the more I'm sitting on what you said, I'm not tripping now. Yeah. The more I'm sitting because we're not saying that D'Lo is a better player than Kyrie. It's a better fit it's for Luca because Luca yeah. is a centerpiece. Yes. They regret not. You send D'Lo him. and Rui to that team. Dallas Ooh. is a better team. Nico Harrison, yeah. don't pick up the phone. Man. Just don't. I got even. a question. You see Rob? You see Rob Palinka? I got I got a question for y'all. So with what the Knicks have done, which we all agree we love, we feel like. They're the leader right now in the moves coming up to the trade deadline. Season plays out, second round, conference finals, whatever. What type of superstar can you put in that mix that's not going to fuck up what they have but enhance it? That's Where? a good question. In New York? In New York. Jimmy Butler. <laughs> like, but Miami may have something to say about that one, that's too. I don't know how many miracles Jimmy got, though, but Jimmy's one of the <laughs> coldest motherfuckers when it comes mm-hmm. to playoff time. Boy, yeah. he hit a button, and he going to that Paul Pierce – <laughs> vision that 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 tunnel vision where he don't see none but the rim and his orange and you can't even you feel me like but he's at he, his best we don't have to be the leading yeah. scorer and when then, he you can, know what when he could just be the yeah, dog yeah, he not figured yeah, out how yeah. to get to the play to get to the second half he's he not figured out how to preserve his just body he not figured out that marathon he not figured out that little marathon you feel me I'm a, I'm, yeah. a, I'm, a, I'm a sprint I'm a like jog right here the season, <laughs> then I'm a sprint right here right dude I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till everybody get to April and then that's when I'm here look what Miami made they run Miami made they run right at April first yeah. Right in the mode. Like he's always had it though. Like I said, when I played with him in Chicago, yeah. like, you know, he was uh, he was a hell of a talent then. But you know, being in the right position, he loved the big moments. He loved to play against you. Yeah. He loved to play against you know Bron. Like right. so, he's he's a big game player. The Heat and the Lakers, as long as they make it into the plan, I, I feel like it's a whole new season yeah. for right. both of those teams. Right. Mm-hmm. Listen, you know, when you play Bron, you play in the league. You right. got the refs, Adam <laughs> Silver right there. You got what's the what's the what's the what's the assistant? Uh, all, all everybody. <laughs> I don't even know if Rob Thorne's still in the league, but Rob <laughs> Thorne, you got it. The ghost of Rob Thorne. No, Joe you know what I'm Dumars. saying? Joe, Joe okay, Dumars Joe, now. do everybody. So when Bron go, Gordon, Bron. bro, bro, listen, <laughs> Bron getting the whistle. Everybody going to tune in. The, the ratings going to be up. Bro, You that's what you're playing against. That's what you you're hear what I'm saying? Against. You got to beat the Lakers, Lord. You got to that, beat them. And that's what I say. And you got to beat the league with them. Are y'all confident in OKC and Minnesota? Not yet. If they got to play the Lakers in the first yeah, round. Listen. Yeah. They got to show. With Anthony Edwards, he got a motor. I'm going to put my bread I, on young fella. Well, he he like a young 84 yeah. Jordan, boy. You hear me? You're going too far. Listen, Lord, you not watching. <laughs> That's how I know he not watching the games. Wilder. That's how I know you not watching the games. You boy, you watching how? 84 I said 84, nigga. <laughs> no, I'm watching how he coming through the lane. If Cat wasn't on this team, he'd average 30-something. You hear what I'm saying to you? Well, get give 15 me a different shot. year of another oh, team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Savant too. I'm a Savant too. Give me like, too. give me like Drexler '83 or something. Like Jordan, bro. Be now, you being disrespectful. You talking about '84? Go back and look at it. Look at this young boy. This boy coming through the. He turned the corner. If you ain't there, he throwing you in. Boy, you ain't watching the game. Hell no, nah, you, you ain't watching the game. Are you saying like the way, I'm watching the okay, game? Okay, so you said the way he. Okay, so you said the way he. Shit together, man. So you said the way he. Give it, come on. You get it. Are you saying the way he dunking? I'm talking about how he dunking. I'm talking about how he coming in the lane. Okay, okay. Man, he turning the corner with intent. He turned the corner and the head up. 
Man, 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 if you ain't right there, he pogoing your ass. Even if you are there. Man, listen. Are oh, you talking yeah. to okay. I'm talking about how he's coming I, I, off the street. I get what you're saying. He's born, bro. He's right. Well, y'all ain't got nothing to do with that. No, no, no. 84, y'all was like. Hey, I'm 86, baby. You know what I'm saying? Maybe 86, bro. Don't look at 84 Jordan, boy. 84 Jordan was doing the whole. Listen, come on. Nah, nah. 84 Jordan? No, 89 Jordan. I said 84 Jordan. Came out of. He just came out of college, Lord. I know his rookie year. That's what I'm saying. You see how he was coming through. You remember that playground joint when he was coming through and all them kids in the playground? Right I, had poster, I had that that's poster. I had that poster on my wall. That's how Anthony <laughs> was coming through the lane, bro. I had that. It was in the that's Wheaties box. That's how he threw it off the glass to himself? <laughs> By the way, bro, 6'4". Uh, he ain't even 6'5". got five. me sweating again. Man, he playing like 6'9 out here. I'm saying, bro, the new it. And if you got that going up against the league and LeBron, Ooh. I ain't... Because he the future. He the future, bro. I just got to see it. He the future. He's I ain't doubt And they going to have to come right. with it to beat them. Because right. Anthony Davis... I just got to see it. You be sleeping on him and he'll give you 45 I'm not, betting, I'm not betting with the Minnesota yeah, versus the, the Lakers I would take the Lakers round. over Minnesota. I know y'all would. I know y'all would. Yeah. And I know y'all would. And my, reason, y'all my would. reason for it is he got three... They got three or four, six, nine dudes to throw on him and get him tired. He's still going to do his thing. I know But is everyone else going to do their thing? I just want to see it. I, I want to see it too. Because right, you know it. what? <laughs> they, he up with Anthony Edwards. If, if, if him and the, Tim Woods can get over this, boy, they, they are rich. I like That's OKC, man. Mm-hmm. You think OKC? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Between I like OKC Anthony and Edwards, go get a better this shape, even though both of them are go get OKC got a lot of dogs, lot of weapons, bro. Too. Mm-hmm. Young dogs. Chet, Chet, Chet ain't no listen. Chet, Chet, Chet ain't no ho, bro. It ain't cooked yet. They ain't They got dogs, but they ain't they dogs who are in the regular season. 12 games. It's still in the oven. Y'all, wait, wait, wait. Y'all got to Y'all got to defer to him because he's the one who played on this Lakers team, basically. Tell well, us, do you like think? Don't do that. All right, there's don't do that. It ain't the same. There's two there's motherfuckers from that team. Yeah, this is yeah. Brown yeah. Andy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My point is, <laughs> you know, you do know what the late <laughs> season turn on from internally. You know what being with with LeBron. And by the way, those are the two guys that matter. So let's not kid ourselves. You've played with LeBron and AD when they needed to turn it on in the playoffs, coming from a difficult situation, Mm. and y'all want to chip together. Half a decade younger. Do you feel who Brian? half a decade? Half was a decade like? oh, young. Oh, Jeez. Shit, that don't mean that nothing. Yeah, it do. I feel like he feel me. Shit. Yeah, but say, but again, as we all know, it's like it takes more than two to win a championship. Yeah. Right. Yep. So I mean, you know, you got the, the Cal Kuzma hit big shots, uh, Alex Russo, like it was KCP, like it's, mm-hmm. it takes a team. You know, those two guys can do what they do, but it's like you call me crazy. I feel like they have the if if they get there, to your point, they have the a bunch of solid pieces, and they get they, they're veterans. They got the world on their side, and they got days off in between games. Like, I felt like from the beginning of the season, this was going to be a whatever season for them. They just had to focus on getting to the playoffs, however the fuck it took. And if they get there, there ain't no telling, especially now with two young up-and-coming, whoever's next Mm -hmm. is at the top. Like, I, I, lo- I love OKC and I love Minnesota, but I just have to see it. And then we're all going to have to see it in the playoffs to really say, like, we know Anthony Edwards is next. We know Shea is, na- Shea is next. But we still have to see, can they get past these old motherfuckers in LA? These are the investments. Mm-hmm. These are the investments. We're watching the investments in the oven. <laughs> oh, by the way, on the stove, we got the Lakers. We got Phoenix Suns. All this shit up here cooked. Yeah. This got, shit right here, got, got oh, that's on, on the stove. It. That's it's cooked. Good. It's got foil on top. Stay Straight warm. up. We yeah. up here Turn looking in here. Yeah. Man, look, we under, we looking in the stove. It's OKC in here. It's, it's Minnesota oh, in here. Hold on. Huh. Oh, yeah, the Clippers. Are Clippers. Anybody say nothing about the Clippers? I really like the Clippers coming out the West. I'm telling you. If they stay healthy, I feel like they're going to be right. More. You're picking the Clippers over Denver. I'm taking Clippers over everybody coming out the West this year if they stay healthy. I think they have depth. I think James Harden is bought in. Kawhi yeah, is on some other shit. PG's hard. always been a killer. You gotta, you gotta beat the champ. They got, beat I love. The champ. I, I love. I love Plum. Yeah, absolutely. I love Plumley. I love Zubak in the middle. Denver. I love uh, Christina had a phone violation, so she owes us push-ups. Okay, yeah, that's 10 push-ups right no, now. No, not push-ups. That's 10 push-ups. Cush-ups. Swing the camera around. No, no cush-ups. <laughs> I'm going to roll up for you after this. You <laughs> owe us. Paul Shirt. She's like, nah. <laughs> okay, but I do have one more Lakers question here. If, if the Lakers really don't do anything in the next 40 minutes, which is what we're looking at, if you're LeBron James... And you had your hourglass, and you more, had more your. There's nothing to you do. You had though. your There's going into the garden with the Knicks towel, doing the interview nothing with the Knicks towel. What can they do? Who are they gonna get Trey D'Lo for? The, the guys are saying they can't get better. 
it's a possibility. Bro. So, but she how do you bro. like LeBron has he, known what their situation is all week? It's I not like he didn't that, know, though. right? Yeah. Right. So he's known what their situation is all week, and he has stomped his feet in classic, you know, LeBron at this time of year fashion to say, mm-hmm. "I know what y'all got. I know what's out there, and I want a deal." If they really go through these next 40 minutes without making one, how engaged is he in the next few days? Like, what's the... LeBron has been sat down, and it's been a strategy. The best player usually knows what's going on. So he was sat down this morning and told that Rich Paul them has had this teed up. This is just falling in line to where everything's going. They know what the ultimate plan is. This ain't this ain't some trading day conversation this has already been talked about in uh july have you not watched him the last four days i'm not i'm, I'm telling you what's really going on it's a strategy yeah, he's really strategic i mean he's it's most, really strategic he's everything that's going around, on yeah. has already been planned so you think that all of this stomping feet and all of the stuff and the knicks and the this and the coming in the knicks colors and the Just tweets because he knows everyone will play for it and play right. with it play you with think it. that's look all fake said, look what he did not fake but Bron knows the moves of the lakers it's been very real in the past when he oh no no it's this. very real but what i'm saying to you is it's nothing worse p probably noticed I mean, we, you know, I'm being very candid here. When they come and talk to you, they come and talk to you about a, what, a month? Hey, look, think about getting blah, blah, blah. We got a chance to get cousin. We, we, they bring it by you. They talk to you. You go in the office. How much Danny sit and talk to you about a thousand different cons- uh, trades? You know what I'm saying? About everything. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, this is a real thing. So mm-hmm. it don't come up to two weeks unless it's something like, soup. you got a chance to get boogie. And boogie, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got a chance to get a great talent. Mm-hmm. That's when it's like the two-day or right away. But, man, everybody know the plan, and the plan goes like this. And then here comes uh, late April, and now we sit down, and it's over. Now here comes another strategic plan on what's going on. So, yeah, I think Brian is definitely in the, in the understanding of what the Lakers are doing for the future. I so we're not going to act like on the I think that's, I was going to say, I think that shit was real these last few days. I don't, I don't think he liked the know. play. How do we know we on the, but on also, the same page? But I also think it's real that, like, yeah, like he wants to play with his son. Yeah. So his contract was June 29th, and then he'll make that decision that's three days after the draft. It's, so, yeah. I mean, he, he's going to, I think, do what he wants to do. I just do not think He's backed off that, that a little bit. And the way he's backed off it is said, that's what I want. I don't know what Bronny wants. And he's the one who will get to, his opinion will mean the most. Maybe so. the he's giving glass, himself out. Maybe the hourglass is when Bronny drops in the league, and that's what the move he's going to make. Uh, <laughs> what do the Lakers have, and what do they need? Because I remember we talked about this before the season. They went to the conference finals last year. And everybody's like, oh, the moves they made this year, they got better. Mm -hmm. So now we get to this point. You got AD, who's an all-star. He could probably make first team or second team. Bron's still first team, second team. You know, why we keep making excuses for the Lakers? They got all the pieces for a championship team. You got the the, uh, the, uh, Reeves and D'Lo. Reeves and D'Lo, excellent role players. Mm -hmm. Uh, The other kid that injured. Tasha Moore, excellent role player. Where, where he been at? Uh, the, 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 so, but like, why we say Osho. they need a trade or this or that? Oh, show everything. The ingredients is there. P, no, it's not. And they've been why hurt not? too, as well. Though. They've, they've been, been hurt. They've been hurt. And they're not better than Gabe, none Vanderbilt. of those teams in the West. The, the West has gotten is, better. So what that's what happened. West is, is, that's exactly what happened. The West has gotten better. Those pieces that you had, Vanderbilt. Man, you, yeah, man, man, you, you don't go from, but you don't go from the conference finals to out the playoffs and want like you do. Yeah, you can because watch you know it. why? We're watching. These, these teams on here have gotten not better. better. Hachimura has that gotten much better. better? Yes. But Vanderbilt so has gotten go better. You go from conference but, finals to out of the playoffs. They're not yeah. going to be. You really think but, they're not going to okay, be top see, Minnesota ten in the league? It. But Boogie, you got to think. We, we're all they were out of playoffs last year. They played play in. I mean, they played. They did. Yeah, I mean, we've all been accustomed as players playing against them, as fans watching of LeBron putting the team on his back the whole entire regular yeah, season right. and then rocking and that he can't do that no more. He I knows know. that. Oh, no, 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 so no, no, no. I, don't, I wouldn't say. Not he just, the whole season. Regular season. Yeah, no, no, no. Regular, regular season, no. You're he's right. built for the playoffs. When he, when he hit the button for the yeah. in-season championship, and that's what, I that's what he they did. they get there, he can do that. Right. That's, that's the button ain't getting yeah. pressed again until they get to the playoffs. <laughs> and, and, and that's okay. If it's, it's not okay because they it's did not it last the, year. They just got to make top 10. That's all they got to do. His plan has changed so much. I'm taking the Lakers over OKC or Minnesota in the first round. And by the way, I'm not saying then they'll win. And and I smoke this morning. I'm going to go opposite. And I smoke this I'm going to say Minnesota, no. (laughs) OKC, yes. That's 100. I don't don't think they can be okay. I'm not mad at it. I think they'd be okay. I'm mad at it. I'm about the investment. The investment has been made. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad. But real quick, too. And then, too, the Lakers are hindered. Let's keep it real. They're handcuffed. LeBron got this whole shit handcuffed. Sure. Let's keep this 100. The Lakers can't do a motherfucking thing to bro out of here. 
Yeah. And that's what it is. They, right. So all Laker fans, when you go to the game, this is us entertainment. <laughs> Sit down and enjoy the game and just, you know, take your pictures and, you know, ah, uh, yeah, we here. Ah, uh, no, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> get in, go get you something to eat. Have a good time. Get Bless drunk. You. Bless you. Mm-hmm. Get the fuck on back to the crib. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all ain't going to the chip. This is it. April, make sure April 15th Boy, is fun. over. They're going to do Cole. Go see Cole's statue. Take pictures. Ah, shout to Cole and the fans. All right, so I want to just... Yeah, 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 while we're... Yeah, that's while, it. Y'all ain't, there ain't no more temperatures in this motherfucker. It's over. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, Real y'all quick, quit. since December 1st, since I was on the Clippers bag, we're 26 and 5, first. <laughs> Offensive rating, 124.3, first. Field goal percentage, 51, first. Three-point percentage, 42, first. Mm-hmm. I feel like the Clippers are the best it's team. Yes. It's shifting. In the NBA. It's shifting. You know? We and there's still a lot of time left. We got a lot of rain here. Still a lot of time left. A lot of they rain. Guys, they're better than Boston. I think, I'm, I'm, that's, that's going to be a hell of a, Boston don't have depth to me. I think Boston they got a, depth. Well, they, they got, got everything. depth yesterday. Hey, they got to worry about the West. They yeah. got, they, not, they yeah. got to worry about the West. First, I agree. Ooh. Who in the West? The Clippers got to wear my Denver. 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 got to beat the champs. The Phoenix? champs. Phoenix. I think yeah. Phoenix. Phoenix. Denver. Phoenix. Phoenix. Yes. Is and Bruce Brown hurt, bro. Denver is doing the exact same thing that every NBA champion has done since the end of time, which is they don't put their foot on the gas the next season. They play well enough to Just stay in it. They in first and then right they now. put their own. Are they number one? Who? They in first place right the now. The Clippers. No, they're all. They're yeah. all. Clippers they've been going, like, going back and forth. Clippers. I don't know. Clippers what we got three ties. We got Denver. the standings. We got Nate, three ties. We got three ties. Denver. Clippers lost last night, right? Yeah, they, yeah, Denver. They yeah, yeah. They, they lost to New Orleans. Yeah, <laughs> Y'all keep it up? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we are. Denver, the number one team. <laughs> <in the line. laughs> Two seconds before you walk in. Yeah, I'll make sure I got no, that. Okay, I mean, okay. I, I know this. Get your Clippers, okay. Okay. It's, it's, it's basically, basically been, know, been a four-way tie for the last couple of days. Right. You'll you, you so, know this boy been looking like 84 Jordan then. Right. Yes. Who are you talking about again? Right. Here you go. <laughs> Anthony see? Edwards. Exactly. <laughs> you see? It's if, still P University. Okay. If, <laughs> hey, if, <laughs> if the, se- the, the season finished today, Denver would technically be the third seed, though. Technically, because of the, they all got the same record. They all got the same record. They had to say all same record. Well, they tied for the best yeah. record in the West. Yeah. yeah. That's what yeah, I mean. You know who catching momentum right now? Y'all watching Phoenix? Yeah. Yeah. But, and look, they're, the additions Where's they KD made will help. At times, KD's Bradley Bill looks like incredible. He, right? Are y'all seeing the same thing? I'm tripping. Well rested. But he played his old team when he just dropped. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just saw that. Person. Yeah, he looked. He, yeah, he was giving person. them all the memes. Yeah, all yeah Bradley yeah. is the X factor. And sure. I like them. I still think they need a PG. Bro. Hey. They got to get a PG. Say it again because they I got. Told they you, got bro. to, bro. And, I, and I'm talking playoffs. Clap I'm talking for the playoffs. What kind of? I like you there. You talking about he cut? Lord, I already know this. You talking about he clapping at the motherfucker? I just told if you. If you got Brad, look, man, listen, he I might be, you. but we getting into it if he clapping at <laughs> just, you. Yeah. I one. play with everybody, man. Listen, I come down, he like. Mind don't be like, go, go get Ray, man. Go get, go get, go get. <laughs> <laughs> Call the next two plays for Kevin and Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. So what do you think of the no, way Devin Booker's been Rondo handling this. the point? Because I think he's been great, and like they don't necessarily <laughs> need that. Season. Yeah, that's like, he's been great, but regular season is different from playoffs. Yeah, yeah. When okay, every, tell me when why. In, I mean, just because of the scout report, you know, the, the personnel. I, mean, I know why the playoffs are different, but tell me why Booker's not going to thrive in that role in the playoffs. I don't think you can just interject a guy that's a natural that's scorer a point, to right? be yeah. a point guard and know how to manage and run the show. I mean, like I said, shout out to and Frank Vogel. They have a Bogle, season to practice, though, by then. A season ain't good saying. enough to win a championship. What, what, what type of point guard can fit in that sit? Like, what kind of point guard mentality needs to be in that system with three heavyweight scorers? Kyle Lowry on that buyout market. Mm. They better go get him. Mm. Kyle Lowry. He ain't too old. Washington. Jay Wall. Tyrese Jones. Yeah, but you still got to play both sides. They got to they gotta give up some shit for him. You can't. Both sides as far as their payroll is max, though, guys. Uh-huh. Like, they can't, there's not a lot of flexibility I'm here. Solid minutes, bro. I'm, I'm, no, I never said he wouldn't. I didn't say both he sides wouldn't. of the ball, I, I think so. At this stage, okay. that's all he really got for. Him. Better run his own. <laughs> I like that kid up in Washington. <laughs> I, yeah, Tyus, Tyus Jones. Jones. Like Tyus, Jones. Jones. Tyus Jones. Yeah, they that, were, man, by the way, they were going have, nowhere. They had to give up something for that, well, though. Yeah, you're not going nowhere. Yeah, but Ty, I, listen, listen, he's listen, I would expect Tyus Jones to move in the next half hour. Yes, I think that we're close listen, to that. You cannot have Devin Booker, who is your, by far your, one of your top scores, consolidating. No. He, he, listen, I'm telling you, as soon as somebody went to the point and got the ball to him, he was, it, he, the, the light went on. And that's how you got to use all three is now. That's huh? who Bill is See, now. See, that's what I'm saying. I need Bill shooting too, though. Yeah, I don't. Nah, bro. You don't get nah, it, Pete. But he's got a big head of monster. Monster. 43. Man, I got a Yeah, yeah but, but it's going to be on, on like, it's your night, though. It's your night. But in the, and I don't think you can do that in the playoffs. You can't just hit the I'm button in the playoffs and say, right. if, if that's not naturally what you do, like, you'll get exposed. They'll go to their you know play the their weaknesses. Gonna, I mean, you the know the playoffs bring them habits out, bro. 
Where are they at in turnovers? Are they one of the top turnover team? You, you know what I'm saying? Up. Are they one of, like, you got to look at all the little things. How well do they rebound? What's they, what's they offensive rating with them? You know, we just now getting a sample size with Bill being healthy now. And what, look at the returns. Mm-hmm. Look good. They straight. looking good. It look good. So that's what I'm saying. You they didn't put the makeup on and put the, the dress schedule, on, though. and they look the good. That's, that's another thing. thing. Who, who they, they, here. Can you imagine they, all dressed? They got all these together. Imagine the point guard coming down, having all three of those but. weapons just working. Can you imagine yeah. that? Not one of the, not one of the weapons consolidating to the other two. But I'm talking about, Lord, they coming out there. They playing like a five on three. Nobody plays the center, and nobody so plays look, the defender. What's the number two? Scoring is up. I'm they getting 140 that's, points. That's the game. So it's though. enough. That's, that's not, it's that's enough that's for all whole, of them. That's the league. Yeah. That ain't just them. That's the that's, league. Saying, that's what I'm saying. The scoring is up around, so it's enough for all three of them can get 30. Listen. Agree. They guess what happens? Win. You know what I'm like saying? Guess win. what happens? It's more possessions. It's more possessions. Oh damn. We are at 30 minutes from the trade deadline. Yo, you are vicious on the bomb. Uh huh. I got it, man. You used to have this motherfucking. What was the thing we had at ESPN? The liver with the like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was They made me stop doing that and I couldn't do that today yeah. because a few other people caught on fire. But that's just like yeah, a small problem, I think. <laughs> and so, you know, we've got this instead. Yeah, um, I hate trade day, bro. Because you're going to need a helmet. <laughs> and I got there. You're going to need earplugs. And a yellow bus. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to take this half hour point, though, to talk about the teams you think haven't done anything and are going to be left behind. We've been talking about the Lakers' mm. decision not to do anything. We got mixed reaction on that. Is there anyone else? Else. Look, the Sixers, the with that Buddy Heel move, their idea is to stay afloat till MB gets back, stay out of the play-in till MB gets back, and then they think they can make a run. So I don't know if you guys think that they have done enough. Um, and they, of course, what is, and B had, not to cut you off, right? Yeah. And B had surgery, right? He had surgery, so but not like the. Weeks, it's like that meniscus weeks. surgery where it's like if reevaluated in four weeks. I think more realistically, Six he might eight. be out. I'd say four, like five or six, he's big. but he's a big right. guy. And did they and take it out? And you don't want to bring him back it. too soon, That's right? Gonna be tough. They he's repaired it. Some yeah. See, repair it takes longer. They say when you take. I have mine taken out, and I was back in six weeks, but I didn't feel nowhere near myself. And obviously, I'm not the caliber of him, and I, I don't. He has a lot of weight on that body. He's mm-hmm. had problems mm-hmm. with his knee. I wouldn't count four. I'm thinking more eight. Easy. And he's had a couple already, right? right. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm thinking. Only person I seen come back from meniscus would go crazy was was Westbrook. Yeah. And he different. Just did, right? Yeah, yeah. Just tore. <laughs> okay, you you guys brought up the Warriors. You yeah. feel like the Warriors not doing anything is a mistake? Yeah. I mean, How come? I mean, everybody's pretty much having career lows. Clay, uh, Wiggins. Mm-hmm. I feel like they can, they can get some some type of assets from them. I mean, it's not much, but Would at the same time. Would you trade if your management, obviously, are you sticking? Because you guys had history where you guys played at and, 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 and things ain't went. They ain't give a shit about that. <laughs> right, but I'm now, they don't think, but I'm talking about well, right now, in the midst. They his mother, and in the all midst, know that. In the midst of everything right now, do you, if you can get something for Clay, you know you can probably get something for Wiggins. Or are you taking that risk if you're the GM to trade Clay, considering everything they've done as a group? I think that's where they're sitting at right now. Nobody wants the assets back, though. I'm being dead ass, man. It's I'm, mental. It's, it's mental in Golden State. Right? No question. Mental. Steve Kerr. Are y'all watching it? Steve sure. Kerr. Man, nobody. Man, he's not. With Clay, he's mental. He's mental, games. bro. He, it is. I mean, he gets Wiggins is super. State. Man, Wiggins huh? is not Golden here. State. No, bro. Wiggins is not here. I think he's mentally he, checked out. I think he Wiggins sees that boy Kaminga behind him. And they, they not are, behind him. They are not behind him. They are not behind him. They are not behind him. I agree with that. It is mental. They are mental. Those two are mentally checked out. I'm not mad at that. Nobody wants those assets back. That's what I'm saying. If I'm giving up on. Clay is valuable. Clay, by the way, he's not. He's I'm not taking that back. I'm not giving up my young shooter for that. He's shooting 30 seconds from three. Like, it's coming low. But they're not trading Clay. I mean, look. Y'all play saying. on that team. I, I, you play you, on, you, you, on a yeah, new deal. On a new deal. Play on a new deal. He's, shouldn't he be trying to work for a new deal this year? Yeah. It's, it's, this it's summer. Niggas, all niggas do, right? Contract year, they go yeah. crazy. They, then you, wait, you always tell me. You give a nigga so the fact that, what type So of, the point I'm making, you can get him on a, on a lower value and you're going to say no team wants him? Yeah. I'm just saying that he's We're talking about Clay Thompson? No, no. Got teams it. do want him. Yeah. What are you saying? I'm... I'm no, saying I probably like, would trade him. Yeah. Oh, I, oh I, we are on the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm yeah. saying that the other side, I don't think that they want that back. He's mental right now, bro. No. Oh, so you're saying that no I'm other saying team. no team does not want to play Thompson. That's not, that's not yeah, I was okay, going to say. Show me. Now, I think, I, think, I, think, I think teams will want a four-time champion, though. I mean, even, Thompson, even if it's for right? locker room purposes, the way he's going to stretch the floor. I mean, Not in the current state. His role on another team might not necessarily be where he's accustomed to. It's, it's accustomed all about what can, he, what can he like, bring back. His state of mind right now is not it's there. It's Clay Thompson. I know, but what can he? I mean, he's older now. Got you. Yeah, he's still a four-time champion. It's Clay Thompson. All we need him to do is make shots. I got that. 
I get it, but what, 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 like price tag, scale, what price tag are you willing to mm. risk the future yeah. for, for Clay Thompson for like a year or two? You know what I'm saying? So that's the question. It's not about his ability. It's what you're willing to risk. You know, Clay is older, got some years left, but do you give up a young talented who might turn into something I'm for Clay right now? If you think you can win a championship with Clay right now, will you do that? You the Clippers. You, know, so you going after Clay? The Clippers. Have I'm just saying. I'm saying. No, yeah, no. Yeah, okay. they, no, that's no, the no. question. Hey, that's, no, no. that's the only place he's going to go. He's yeah, going to go to a team that he can win right now. But, but here's, Milwaukee, he, he, he's not helping Milwaukee? Absolutely. He's helping Milwaukee. More. And, and look, Clay has been a really good defender at times, but that's not where his head is at God, right now. Here, but I will say this. Yeah, but, Boogie, but you have been on that team, Matt. You have been on that team. They are not trading Clay Thompson without Steph Curry say so. And you guys tell me, is Steph Curry saying? No. See, that's Trade Clay? Thing. No. The best so player it. knows who's getting traded too. Yeah, that's another know. thing. And then you know what's even harder? When it's your boy. Yeah. Clay, Steph Curry is never going to sign off on Draymond or, or Duke. Clay. So that's like, that's, that's, never. let's ask y'all. Y'all together? <laughs> yeah. Danny come to you like, what we doing with Kevin? What you saying? Mm. Kevin Garnett? Yeah. <laughs> I'm never trying Kevin. Period. No, I'm not saying you did, P. I'm just, no, I'm saying I would never do that. That's, that's, that's probably the mindset of, Same you know, the guys in the Warriors. Yeah. I mean, I said that with you. Like it was, it was, it was, it was, it was on the table. Yeah, I'm telling you, Rhonda, it was on the table. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Get me out of here, boy! I'm saying. On the table, you for. uh, I remember it was you for Westbrook. Right. Yeah. It was, it was you yeah, and Young Westbrook. We know that deal. We were, I, we was, me and Tim was like, hell no. Hell no. Like, left, Westbrook was killing, but it was just no. our, it wouldn't have fit. our, our, yeah. our yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So Damn. it went, it, went really? it didn't matter. Ray, too. It, it didn't matter. Ray had something. They so, came to both of us and said, but they had something. You know, right. so. Yeah. Like, and that's no. the most, that's the most, that's, this is the most fucked up part about trade. Let me tell you about the fucked up part. No, no, that's So, ticket. And I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Ray supposed to be traded for? Tick said there was something from somewhere for Ray. I need to know this. One. Wait, it was something for Ray. They called us in and we didn't want to hear. We was like, nah, we good. And he was he like, what was it? And then Danny was trying uh, to explain. He was like, nah, we good. Who was? I don't remember. Because we had Avery. We had we had some assets. Text him. I don't remember that one for Ray. But it's but it's hard, right? It's, it's hard. very so hard. This is the fucked up part about trade. It's because when that person gets traded and you're the guy on the team. Yep. That person who got traded no. looks at you like you had something yeah. to do with it. Whether you did or not, by the Whether way. Whether you do or not. Right. And so, like, they looking at you like, this nigga, like, this nigga right. got me you my boy. Nah, you ain't my boy. Got me traded. And I'm like, <laughs> nah, I wasn't in on this one. Like, Twan got traded. I didn't know. I was like, what? I was surprised. And I wasn't in. I think he thought I was in on it. And I was like, no, hell no. I didn't even know about it. All right. Well, we potentially just like, have one, right? So the... the Damon Lillard got up. traded. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just saw Damon Lillard. OJ Mayo in a draft pick to the Grizzlies. Oh, yeah. Some goofy Ooh, shit. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah, I wasn't feeling that. I, I do want to talk about yeah, that today, to though, guys, yeah. because the Bucks made the trade for Pat Beverly, right? Campaign went out. And Damian Lillard just told Chris Haynes at TNT, he just said, I want to say I'm sad to see Cam go. We developed a friendship that I cherish. So Dame felt the need to say that about Cam going out. And then, of course, he said, as for Pat, he brings an edge and a defensive tenacity on the perimeter that we really needed. And you guys have all signed off on that as well. But to your point, Dame, who hasn't even been on that team that long, Felt like he had to make the point about Cam mm-hmm. and say, like, no, no, I cherish his friendship. It wasn't me, basically. Yeah. <laughs> this, shit is, this shit is a business. And I think, obviously, the older we get in it, we realize that. But at the same time, there's still human mm-hmm. feelings within this shit, you yeah. know? And, and packing up your family and taking the kids out of school and doing all that side of shit that we haven't even talked about either. Like, the mm-hmm. trades are serious. Yeah. Or, decide, or, you, or you might have to leave them and then go oh, for four yeah. months, five months. Yeah, it might, you might be on an expiring contract. So hey, at what point do you... Buy instead of rent. If I were y'all, I would rent every year. <laughs> you gotta be there a couple years, yeah, or always, let me say like, something it's to you. It's, it's tricky, always, right? Can't it's always Grant Williams just signed a new your deal. You, you can sign that big deal and still be in the. That's what happens. Once Grant Williams about property, you never lose in property, yeah. bro. I was about to say, it's like think, diamonds. I think it depends on what city you're in. Like I was diamonds, you say, property. If you're in New York, buy. They traded somebody back. If you're in Cleveland, y'all need the house. <laughs> you hear me? Fuck. I ain't even eating shit. I'm finna buy. Big fella, I just got traded for Big Fella. Hey, Big Fella, you need a house? I got a house over here. I ain't got it, Big just Fella. Okay, well, if cool. I ain't got it, though, Big Fella. Rent it you want to rent it out? I'll rent it to you. You want to rent it to you? Here you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm buying. What if it's some pigs and young assets? You oh, no, 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 no. I'm just holding. Yeah. No, no, no. That's no, right. No, no. Then you got nothing. 
It's all good. I'm right here. I'm going to keep this here. Rent. I like to hear. I can still come back here and crack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah we, yeah. we, we <laughs> got a bank roll. I'm right here. Yeah. I ain't written shit. No, I'm, I'm but, all but, good. But if, but, if, but if I'm young and I ain't, and I ain't oh, yeah, got yeah. The, the next deal. No, no, no. You do what you do now. You're going to have yeah, to rent. Yeah, yeah, Ticket, yeah. we was renting in, in Brooklyn. <laughs> No, I own my shit. Oh, you bought your? Yeah. Oh, I was renting. He said you were renting. <laughs> well, I was he, out of, you were also in. Uh, you know, I was out of there the next year. I'm glad. Uh, I, didn't buy that. I, I was playing the being Brooklyn for a minute. Like, yeah, this. Well, we in New York, bro. Yeah, I know you love New York. New York, bro. You, yeah. never got you alluded to it. I think the toughest trade midseason has to go to you, Boog. Yeah. Not just in this room, some bullshit. but possibly yeah, ever. A sack after telling you you were going to stay. The whole, Rachel, in, I, don't, I don't think you understand. So wait, you were, time, you were there. I, was my, yeah, I signed there. I was going to go to Golden State. They ran out of money with the KD shit. I go to Sacramento, and I figure I'm going to finish my career here. The second I get there, someone in the paper wrote that I'm the boogie whisperer. Somehow <laughs> he listens to me or some shit. He might have listened to me a little bit. I don't know about all the time. But from day one, when I tell you coaches, GMs, owners, presidents are checking in with me, how, how is he? How is, I'm just I got it. What the fuck you mean? Why don't you right, ask right. him? He's right here. So the whole time leading up to the trade deadline, just let him know he's not going nowhere. Let him know. You let him know. And let, so you want to pay me more money to be management, you let him. Right. He's not going nowhere. I promise he's not going. He's promised I'm not going nowhere. And then this motherfucker's at the All-Star game on the podium and finds out. With the camera in his It's face. even worse than that, though, because. Yeah, you have the inside track. We had the, um, it's crazy, because at the time, rest in peace, Dan Fagan, he was representing me at the mm-hmm. time. And, um, <coughs> Damn, and uh, you know, we had a, we had a, uh, one-on-one meeting with Vlade, who mm-hmm. was the GM yeah. at the time. So uh, Vlade's in my home. We in my, you know, movie theater. We drinking red wine and shit. You know, on some intimate, right. you know, player shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Vlade's just he he telling me the shit. He telling me everything I want to hear. How I don't have nothing to worry about. Like we they painted this picture of what the future is gonna look like. All these things. You know we. Cheers and mm-hmm. to, to more life, I all could, that I bullshit. That. <laughs> Damn. I, I do want to say you were in line to get a Supermax that I was deal. supposed at the so time. So if you had the stayed deal, with yeah. them, they would have had to pay you a bunch of money, but Over you 200. earned that money. Which he was worth. Yeah, yeah. no question. That's so, what I mean. He earned it. So two weeks later, um, Damn. it's kind of funny though. Uh, two weeks later or whatever, two weeks, two and a half weeks later, all start coming around. And um, it's, it makes sense now, but you know, I'm. In my head, everything is clear with, with the organization, with the future. Like, I know I'm going to be here. I plan on signing my deal later right. on and whatever. We're good. So, uh, you know, we we getting ready for the All-Star game. And Russ, Russ is next to me. Um, my locker is next yeah. to Russ. So Russ kind of whispered over, like, hey, bro, like, this is before the game. Like, hey, bro, like, uh, my GM wants to know, would you be interested in OKC? Like, they trying to make something shake, like, right now. I'm like, bro, nah. I'm good. I'm about to sign this deal. Like, we could talk later. Like, you know, I'm about to sign this deal. I'm like, your your GM tripping. Obviously, he out of the loop. Like, I'm talking to him like this. So, Russ, like, bro, you sure? Like, I'm like, Russ, like, I'm good, bro. Like, I'm gonna get my bread. Mm -hmm. So after the game comes around, and um, obviously the viral video and all that, Mm -hmm. you know, goes out, but. I mean, I was standing there at that press conference, by the way. Flying to All-Star, I fly with the owner, GM, PR guy. We're all on the private jet Mm. together. Mm. Like I said, it's it's a big celebration. Like, after the game, you know, the viral clip, he tells me in my ear, you know, yeah, you just been traded. Like, so obviously I know I'm on camera. I'm like, I'm trying to play it cool. Like, and obviously I... At the time, you know, you want to say the right shit. I don't want to shit on New Orleans while I'm in New Orleans. Like, yeah, but they should have pulled you. They should have been like, they should have. We got to go. They should have told you off it camera. Was it was yeah. They should have. It was deliberate. You think so? One thousand percent. You know why? Because the league don't drop. The league catch all passes. And if something happens on the league watch, oh no, it's ninety five percent that that's that's the move. Right. And that's the hard part of understanding that. This was. You don't want to calm down? Fuck okay, cool. Right. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to embarrass your motherfucker now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah put it in his rule. face. Mm. Put it in his right. face. Ask him right there on camera. Yeah. yeah, let him react. Don't take it off of him. Yeah, let him yeah. react. And everybody that was, saw that. That was on it, that was on that was on channels that you don't even sports don't even be on. Yeah. I saw that on like some Gail and some gossip shit. You hear me? <laughs> my, I now walk we know in, what KG watches. I've been no, no, no. My, you know, everybody got a girl, you know, yeah, you know, women watching, right? But, you know, I'm just being 100, right? You also got to know Vladi said that. 
And this is no not to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill's the next Steph Curry. That's why we had to make the move. Man, we, you know how many times I heard that? Like, dealing with that? Like, I mean, I can remember the, the and no knock to any player that no, came through. Like, this isn't. Not at all. This has nothing to do with you. It's on on the organization. Right. Right. And it's like how they view these players that they're going through the draft. But when it came to this Stauskas, it was, you know, he's a combination of Steph and Clay. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like, he's going number seven? Like, that don't even make fucking sense. Like, this should be the number one player in the draft. Like, (laughs) (laughs) right. So, bro, just the delusion dealing with dude. I mean, you don't. And who he missed on. You met Marvin Bagley over Luca. Like, he missed a lot. And, and that was over a grudge. Like, damn. Yeah. Like, man. Like, and to keep it real, I mean, bro, let's keep it real. You had eight years, you had seven head coaches there? Or seven years, eight head coaches? Was, How was it? Something like that? Bro, the, the numbers are ridiculous. Shit. I had seven coaches. In nine years or something? Three GMs, <laughs> two how, owners. How many, how many players stability. did you respect in that, that expand? You. <laughs> <laughs> You, <laughs> damn. Uh, I would say Francisco Garcia, Reggie, uh, Reggie Evans. That's that's big bro for life. Joker, shout out to bro. Mm-hmm. Um, bro, big. That's, that's uh, Chuck Hayes. That, that's my guy. But outside of that, Chuck, Chuck, real people. Yeah. That's <laughs> all your name. Yeah. It's a short list. Yeah. It's like a damn wildcat company, company right yeah. there. It's the business. You know, you know, it would be crazy. You know, it would be a good show tickets because we always trying to think of shows like trade stories, like how dirty teams do players. Oh, oh man. Oh, my God. Dallas Mavericks. Like See? Mm-hmm. Stories no, it's it's a dark that. side to this shit. Bro. Like, and it's a business. <laughs> and all you making all this money. It's like, no, nah, this shit is real. Like, yeah, this is yeah. real life. Bro. Right. Yeah, we get paid a lot of money. <laughs> This is crazy. You go, God <laughs> damn. minutes. Continue. I almost pissed on myself. Appreciate Continue. my place to sit. Damn. Appreciate this, this is city. crazy, man. A lot of people don't know, man, when you make top, like, the super max and all this, deadline. 10% of your salary goes back to the organization. Mm, yeah. A lot of people don't know the math on when you're getting super maxes. Everybody think you're getting all this bread, man. That shit's so chopped and screwed. You have no idea what it is. That's the, the tax. Top. Well, it keeps and it no, keeps. A, they keep they keep no, moving the targets the too. And all NBA that, now is yeah, different like, because like who, you who can't the, play with a certain number of games. Just saying, like who 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 who's making money? Then I'm turning back around, giving it to the same like, niggas, like, giving like, it back, on, yeah. yo. And but, there's the practical stuff too. Like uh, Om Young Masuk from ESPN did this amazing story on players getting traded midseason. PJ Tucker, who has been actively asking for a trade and has made it known that he needs a trade. The idea is that it will take several equipment managers, like, days to get. And this is not the shoes at his home. This is just the shoes he keeps at the arena. They, they, they have called in reinforcements I say this with all, I that I say this with, I say with all due respect, if they're talking more about your shoes than your game, it might be a sign. Yeah. <laughs> it's all due respect. <laughs> all due respect. You know, every, everything is a big deal about his shoes. Like, I feel like he's still got some... G- gas in the tank, but it's all about his shoes. Like we should be talking about his. Nah, game. if you witness this shit, I've, no, I've it seen would it. definitely be a topic. I see it. <laughs> I've seen it, but I'm in saying Houston, that motherfucker had his own locker room, just shoes, bro. Mm-hmm. Good for him, though, bro. Cause you don't be dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> don't be dead ass, bro. Are we keeping it real. Yeah. And T- PJ, when, when he started off in Phoenix, bro, he was getting in trouble. He was, yeah. fu- yeah. you know, he was. He had got it out the mud, bro. That's yeah. real shit. Out the he mud, was on the bro. way out. Yeah. He, he was yeah. always three, four years. We were all looking at him yeah. like, I respect this fouling ass. The mud for you know, you. Sure. Yeah. He was like, the mud. and then all of a sudden, he he changed the narrative on himself and started talking more about shoes. He was educated with a lot of stuff. He was a fan. And then to hear him actually go through intimate moments with these shoes, know where he was, the Katie's, the this, the that. Then he would wear stuff that you ain't never seen. If you're a shoe head, man, you love PJ. You love what he was Absolutely. talking about, what he was doing. Then they have a condo full of shoes. Or if you're a shoe head, that's the draw. So to convert that to y'all thought I was going to be out of the league in four or five years. to oh, Now y'all talking about me, I can leverage this and get myself on the team. He not changed the whole narrative of what he started off as to what he is today. You know, so mean grind, mm-hmm. mean grind. He got a mean, mean yeah. grind. I'm mean talking about he. You go to P. You go hey. to Comic Cons and Shoe Cons. He it. If you think he, about you it, might think, think Kanye hey, coming through. He was a key piece right. that Milwaukee moved after they won. Right. That they should have kept. Right. I got an update they for y'all. Kept. I was bugged. Uh-oh. We got an yeah. update. Update. Not a trade because I'm not doing this, but an update of a non-trade. The reporting is out now that the Hawks are keeping Dejounte Murray. So he is now also off the board. And there were still, even in these last 15 minutes, I was thinking there were people. Are you talking about somebody lit a fire on somebody's ass? 
And listen, when his name got thrown in here, he he hit like two, three game winners. I know. He went into like another level. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. but, do you think, but do you think that's because he wanted someone to pick him up? I don't know, but it does, it does this. It does this. When you start hearing your name and shit, you right. you're playing with a pit like a. You can what? go one way or the, no, you yeah. go one way or the other. Facts, facts, right. perspective, right. perspective. Yeah. Yeah, you can, it can fuck with you, yeah. right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but as, as star players, if you're hearing your name and they want to trade you and you don't end up trading, how does that sour the relationship going back to that team? I'll Amen. say this: sign and then a new deal. Something. Something. Make me feel happen. better. <laughs> yeah, I feel better now. Resign. Okay, we resign and we ain't going yeah, nowhere. That's that's All some right. real shit. You know what I mean? I remember yeah. it happened with Lamar Odom. So I was with the Lakers, and we in that CP trade got blocked. Yeah. Mm. And I think it was LO. It was Pow too, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yeah. They took both of them. And when they came back, the shit was fucked up. Mm. Everyone was off the reservation wow, after that. Man. Well, so that's what I was going to ask you, right? About that, like, like you were on that Lakers team, yep. and that is one of the most controversial yep. non-trades Damn. that's ever not yep. happened. Um, LO was gone, mentally right? gone. Pow Just... was, and Pow so quiet and. Where you know reserved, if Powell was on his own little world, so it took a minute for us to cut it. We never got mm-hmm. LO back to See, the that's with you. part that but, we just never nah, discussed, bro, right? But crazy. you look at that trade, and at the time, I know Kobe was pissed. Yeah. I'm sure you were pissed. Like there was just sort it wasn't, of, I was I wasn't really even in a position to be pissed. Right. I just thought you know what I mean like. I thought you know, CP and Kobe together would have been incredible. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then again, you see that you lose. I mean, LO and Powell and, and, and Kobe have been together for a minute. Well, you know that's what, what I, mean? I was going to so. ask. So y'all played Powell and Kobe in mm-hmm. the finals twice, mm-hmm. right? And they won that year that you got hurt. Like, looking right. back on that trade that Lakers fans were so mad didn't get approved, do you think they actually ended up being better for them that Powell stayed? And I ain't no telling with CP you know at what the I'm one tell y'all, so CP. A lot of people don't know that the league actually had ownership of the Oh, court, I know. Yeah, the, that's uh, why they blocked it. Uh, Pelicans. Yeah. Oh, the Pelicans. That's and why they blocked it. And if you trade Chris Paul, mm-hmm. man, Chris Paul was a huge hit in New Orleans. Yeah. People, yeah, that, and, you they, know, that they community. Go, that market go out for all of them. They, so, they might be in Vegas already. Yeah, just did that. You understand? Yeah. I don't know if L.O. and... Um, that was a, that was a business move. Man. That's what I'm saying. So, you feel move. me? And yeah. then... No, yeah, the league owned them. Because that's the what I'm owner. saying. So, it was a bunch... Like, something yeah. happened with the owner or man, something. Man, right? it was yeah. something... Uh, something. You feel what I'm saying? No, bro? I know I know the league owned them. And and then all of a sudden... I so, I know that. that's why it didn't Because Tyson Chandler right? was in that trade, too. Yeah, David Stern basically came up and said, I'm not blocking this as the commissioner. I'm blocking this as the temporary custodian of the, of the Pelicans. Right. Yeah, and right. I don't think that this trade is good for us. But I'm curious from the Lakers' side... Now that we have the advantage sure right. yeah, sure of history, That's interesting. like 20 years ago, do you no think that it would have been better off with CP or that they actually worked out better that they kept Pal? Think about what you're giving up when you say know. that. I don't think so. Me neither. <laughs> I like Chris Paul. Mm-hmm. I think he's great for the game. I thought he's, mm-hmm. you know, he's had a, 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 a cool career. But when you talk about when you're trying to win a championship in the, in the height that we're talking about, you need L.O. L.O.? What year was that? This is... We have a trade. Don't matter. You got a trade? <laughs> got the trade. Milwaukee Bucks are reportedly trading Robin Lopez to Sacramento Kings. What? Oh. Oh, Robin, the one, the one, the, uh, Robin, the one that Robin. came off the bench. My dog. Oh, my dog. What the fuck? My dog. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> For who? For who? <laughs> Doesn't say yet. We got to wait. But uh, well, expe- still geese, so. but he he's expected, really playing, he's he expected to be house. waived and become a free agent, so it might just have been an accounting energy. thing. <laughs> I think Positive. somebody need to pick him up out of West. <laughs> I think Jeannie Buss get me started on explained what happened with that <laughs> when we sat down with her. I don't remember. She said someone was speaking at a turn and saying it was a go and it wasn't, and that's when David Stern stepped in. I think Jeannie Buss spoke on that right. during that's our it. episode, I think. Yeah. 2011. Yeah. Really? And you guys think, think about what you're giving up. You know I'm saying, pal? who y'all are going against? Y'all was big. Pause. You know what I mean? So you take a 6'2 or 6'3 point guard and you're giving up two seven footers for that. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't Nate, working. You got to refresh it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. you know, playoff, listen, bro. they had bite them. They had big <laughs> bite them then. Bro, you, bro, listen. They had L.O. at the three. Mm-hmm. They had big power at the four and bite them at the five, bro. If you wasn't, if you wasn't even, because bite them was good enough to give you a 2020. Bite was nice. Oh, yeah. He was bad nice. Knees. He was undercover oh, nice. Yeah. Like, bad he didn't even bad get knees. his whole way. Like, you yeah. feel me? Like, he had a run where you was like, man, big fella, he, he on his mm-hmm. way to be the next right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, man, you... I think in that climate, I don't think that was a good trade for that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Chris Paul brought something to it, but not more. That was something greater than both what you them. was losing in old yeah. Man, you know how long? Both of them guys, 6'11", yeah. pal, 7'1". You got a boogie, no? You go to spin and you got another big, you got a... You got to extend over all that lean. On that flip side ticket, after that shit failed, that low was mentally gone. Oh, yeah. It was, it was not the same team. Nah, he was, he was so hurt that they, yeah. he felt like, you know, 
that he didn't have no heads up on the situation that like he was mentally gone after that. He forgot that. it was yeah. a business. Do you yeah. think it do you think it it helps a player come to grips with, you know, a situation like being traded if it's brought to you ahead of time? Like I don't think it should ever be a surprise. I don't think it should ever be a surprise. Just man to man. You know what I mean? I think that's the the bullshit in the game, but these right. GMs and owners are making us a, a ton of money. Like you have to have these tough conversations. Yeah, but they, right. they, their point of view, and I'm not saying it's right, because I agree, everyone's a uh -huh. human being and that's what we've lost uh -huh. here, but that the point of view of the front office is, what if I tell you we're looking to deal you and, it and then happen. it doesn't happen? Or what if I tell you we're looking to deal you and we start talking to you about it and then you or your agent goes out and starts making noise, which they would, right? They'd be trying to get the best yeah, deal from another yeah. team, and then your advantage is lost. Like, Good no point. one knew that the Bucks were going to trade for Damian Lillard. They kept yeah. that shit tight and under the vest. they like, you better find out on, on Twitter. I'm pretty right. sure Damian Lillard <laughs> Well, no, no, he knew that he was going to get traded because that whole saga was bonkers with the Heat, right? And they said they're dealing with him. Mm -hmm. But he didn't know it was the Bucks until... He thought, I thought he, he spoke on it. I thought no, he, he was trying to go to the Heat. He wanted right. to go to the Heat. He, he, he wanted to go to the Heat. I thought... Milwaukee came in before and was like, we want to make a move for you. And he was like, he okayed it. He, he okayed that that was a team that was on his list. Mm -hmm. But the idea that that was happening that day, that type yeah, of Milwa stuff. Like uh, they, don't, they don't tell him. Milwaukee wouldn't give up. I mean, the Miami wouldn't give up something. Mm -hmm. and that's what held that up. Yep. I think they wanted Tyler well, Hero or something. And, Hero, and the they Blazers, wanted Hero, and they wouldn't throw Hero in there. The Blazers got a little petty too. The they didn't Mil want to send him where he wanted to go because they felt thing. like they felt like Miami had been, if not in na actually tampering, like in name well, tampering. Well, got to because, Miami. Oh my man. goodness! Fresh yeah. off the, the Bro, he went Giannis. Oh what goodness. the fuck? Like, what? really? No, no, no. I'm just talking about this life. Yeah, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Different day. What? The I forgot fresh, about you. Fresh I forgot about you. Fresh out of the No, but fresh out of the bush. What do you oh, mean? Oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, I think it would have been. Too many spies on, 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 under Pat Riley. I understand belt. that, bro. You ain't going to be mean, on South Beach like that. I, oh, y'all was out last night till 3.30, huh? No, that's oh, man, this, right. this, that's this day, bro, this day you bring South Beach to you. Right. Man, it's done so different. Jimmy, it's done come so over. different. Come to the crib. It's mm -hmm. done so different. Two single. Yeah. Well, on the other side of the Chris Paul trade that never happened, <laughs> you've got deals like Sheed going to Boston, to uh, Detroit. Sorry, I don't get Boston on the brain. Sheed going to Detroit, and that is the I think the most recent time a starter was traded midseason that they won a title that year. And you've had key guys go at different times. Now the Clippers with James Harden could be. Could you be the next what? one. Oh, you know that was some bullshit. The she trade because he went to a he went to Atlanta, I think. For two days, right? That's yeah, another one. So he went to Atlanta. That's another one. We gonna, hey, and okay. then something happened with us, with Boston, to where we allowed him to go to Detroit. I think there's some insight on that. So he really? left y'all, went to Atlanta. No, no, he went to Atlanta. Yeah, he played. Was it one game in Atlanta? Portland. And then he oh, ended up in game? Detroit somehow. I traded him. In Detroit from, from Atlanta. I need to know. He played one game in Atlanta. Right, then one I game in Atlanta. Two days later, he then... went to Detroit. Yeah. But that was another one, okay. I kind of like, had a finger team around. On that they somehow. beat the well, Lakers. We gave Atlanta asset to get him to Detroit. Really? I think it was like Boston had a fingerprint on that. That was another one where, like, okay. It was you, like, what? This how we going to do you. You know what I'm talking about? Like just making an example out of a month. You know what I'm talking about? That's what it felt yeah. like. It worked out for him. I wish I'm playing. It did. It did. I mean, just, but think about it. Detroit. At the time when that went down, we was all like, what? She to Detroit? It didn't make any sense. Then we saw that shit, what it looked like. Right? Yeah. Right. I was like, oh, shit. Rip Hamilton, oh, shit. Him and Ben, mm -hmm. oh, shit. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, wow. Over there, mm -hmm. huh? yeah. That looks like, that looks like I something. It. I know it. Yep. Feel me? Because she turned into like the three-point sheet, and he was like, he was like a unit. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, it wasn't like, it was like one or two guys. Tayshawn started growing, and then yep. he started pissing, just like reunite and rekindle that Detroit energy that they had already oh, had. Oh, look, I mean, again, James Harden technically traded in season. I know it was the beginning of the season and, and you know, he hadn't been at camp and all that stuff, but he could be the move that made the difference for the champion this year. It's possible. Again, I'm not counting Denver out, but it's possible. Um, and look, we've got... Has ever happened? Denver ain't got no bench. A move that significant to a team to win a championship that same year? Well, Sheed was that same year. That was that same year. Oh, that yeah, same yeah. year. So that same year he went to Detroit. They yes. won that year. Yes. That yes. same year. Okay. So, so that's she the first. That. That's in my in my memory. That's the last time a starter has been traded in season. Other guys have been traded in season and they've gone on to win a title. But a starter was traded in season. I don't know. Nate, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But that's what I remember is the last one. one. I can think of in 
2011, but, but he wasn't a starter. He wasn't a starter. But so he moved to the match when they right. Were mm. They're also saying what He's Dinwiddie. Talking. Shams is saying Dinwiddie's going to get waved. So he'll he, get waved. Yeah, we'll get in a few. Man, listen, Dinwiddie to Phoenix. Well, listen, man, listen. Uh, you know what I want to see? Because this is what I wanted to argue with you, uh, be a riddle with you. In the playoffs, the big fella, excuse me for not knowing nobody's now, I apologize, but big fella in the number two, what's the little uh, African kid name? What number two. What's his name? That's how you got to try it. That's how you got to try it. sounds <laughs> African. Shit, nah, but you said that about me. This shit sounds African, dog. This shit sounds African, dog. No, you got to keep a little African nigga, dog. Now he got to stay, dog. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you, hey, you know the little African nigga y'all got? Rajan and the kid. Sorry. Oh, no, whatever. Sorry. That ain't the same. I got it. What, what's the kid name? Joshua Kogi is here. Bingo. Is he, is he African? Uh, I heard him. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate it. Thank you, man. He's not a big. No, no, no. Hear me out. The big number 14 that I starts for breathe. him. Just follow me, y'all. I'm ADD. Just follow me. What's the kid number 14? Nurkic? No, no, no. Nurkic. Right. He's white, bro. Hear me out. Eubanks. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Eubanks. And uh, number two, I'm sorry. In the playoffs, bro, it's three on five. So when I go pick and roll, I'm trapping. I'm trapping. Okay, cool. Fuck what I'm Trade deadline about. has passed. Be right back. Bullshit. It's all good. <laughs> Respect. Trade deadline. I was trying to get to it, but get it. yeah. You're get it. Go ahead. Come on. I just want everyone to know. Go, go, go. I want everyone to know we have hit 3 o'clock Eastern. This is it. It's over. It's over. That was okay. That was worth interrupting you for briefly, right? And then you can just keep going. Man, the bomb. Oh, my God. Trump's everything. God damn it. You know me? So, you know. He said, fuck what I'm talking about. No, no, no. What I was trying to get to is that. No, 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 no. What I was trying to get to is that. Oh in the playoffs, God, I'm crazy. trapping the three, the three, mm-hmm. the, those three weapons, and I'm gonna make you find the other two. Uh, Nurkic, and I'm gonna make you find the defender. You know what I'm saying? That's why I think. Dan Whitty. Uh, at, at some point, the Lakers gave too much up for defense because when you got Vanderbilt on the floor, if he ain't hitting the corner he's three, hurt, though. he's obsolete. That's what I'm saying. On top of that, I need him for defense out here, right? Yeah. I ain't mad at that. I'm not mad at that. And that's so a, that's a great point because again, the Clippers, what they got. Killers. They just got some that can go. All killers. That's you know what I'm saying. Too? So it's like. That can turn around and defend you too. They got two two way players and a bunch of guys that will actually give a defensive effort. Mm-hmm. So when I'm thinking about the Phoenix stuff, man, then we then we just not have 50 in our league before. He can hit a three. He can he can score. Oh, he can get you 20. That's okay. what I'm saying. I would love to see him come in there and be, and and, be and that he point, point guard. He was, he, he a real he point was my guard. young. When in Chicago, he was he was in and out of the league. Mm-hmm. Nice, Lord. Shout out to Dan Witty, man. Nice. He worked his ass off. Like I said, you he's, think he's that'll a big be a ass good point. fit for Phoenix? I do. Like I, you know why? Yeah, he can, he can play with talent, bro. Bro, he, bro. Bro, he played, bro. And then guess what? You jump up on him, you give it back. Man, he can knock that down. Yeah, he a threat. He you, he swing, swing corner. He can knock that down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He can take you off the dribble. He got a nice little yeah, angle. He can guard. He can guard. I, bro, I, if they're looking at the Clippers as the best, I like that move for Phoenix. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, then with it, he free. Yeah. He's the best option to that so, to that problem right, right. now. Yeah, yeah. Low. I don't like. I don't like Bill. Bill, man, they showed Bill. Perk put Bill up, bro, and just had him. Bro, you, you Bill. You, what you looking up? You ain't. Bro, he was in the corner, not even out here. Man, but the other two going to work, bro. That's a disconnect. There's no way we watching you. I'm sitting over here like the though uh, Ray in the corner. We all sit waiting on you, bro. Ain't nobody over here, hands dead, bro. Your hands are your knees. You ain't ready to. You feel me? He's not in the. He was not prior to the Washington game. I didn't see him connecting in the in the whole office. So you he think like he, he got that lost. Then when he can kind of like bring that together, bring I just that. think that he's in it now, bro. It ain't, I ain't consolidating. You know what I'm saying? I ain't waiting on Katie. I'm in it. I'm setting the pick. I'm coming off. It, it's go, it, then now who, now who do you pick your poison on? My, my only knock that's what Phoenix, I'm saying. I think is that it, they take turns because they have three great scores. So if you're not the one, it's your turn. The other motherfuckers is like. But you, but you, you that's dead. You, you see, I over think there, if you, you get, shooter, uh, if you get a player shooter. like Dan Witty, I think you should bring Bill off the bench. Hell no. Nah. Ah, bro. Because then you can let them come in and go. Oh, you know what happen. I'm saying? Boy, let me say something. The league is about pace now. Yeah, Man, goddamn, happen. the Pacers put up 150, 158 one day. Uh, I seen the Sacramento Kings put up almost 160. Bro, the pace is here. So We're guess what you need? Point game. Man, you need firing. Or I, oh, I, oh, I say you, you sub them out early, and then you bring it back in with the second unit so he can go. If you yeah, want. you, you need him to have an opportunity to go, though. Those you know? four and Nurkic, that's a problem. Because yeah. big Nurk. Yeah, I like that. If you there and they hit him, yeah. he can score on anything. Yeah. And they switching a lot. One and when he roll, switch, right? you got to actually switch, pay right. attention to his role. He can pass the ball. He can pass the ball. He got, he got, he got better with that. He, huh? he got better with the role of finishing. Because he wasn't like that in Portland. Listen, he better. 
Man, big fella can roll and finish. Man, we, when we he played was hurt in, we played in against two. him, we were switching yeah, yeah, yeah. him. He was what hurt. Do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was off a broke but, leg. But I'm saying he wasn't finishing on smaller d- d- defenders. That's what I'm saying. He was off that broke leg. He was off a broke leg. All right, too, man. He, he was playing, wasn't he? Okay, so let's talk about. <laughs> now that <laughs> those four and that big fella, that's a weapon. That's yeah, all. Play, now that awesome. the deadline's passed, we got to talk about some of the teams that didn't or whatever. So Spencer Dinwiddie is getting waived by the Raptors because pretty soon he'll have a 1.5 million dollar bonus kick in, and they want to not pay that. So that's yeah, why that's he's going to be Jeez. out around for teams <laughs> to, to, to pick some. To, <laughs> to, to pick, <laughs> but but he'll be he'll be out for t- other teams. Like he'll that. go to a better place probably, as you point out. So it's fine. Not better as a city, just better as a competitive team. Um, but you have to look at the the deals that didn't get made, right? Bruce Brown didn't get moved. And that He's is in, someone where is he, in Toronto. In Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. And we expected that to happen. We expected a, a team to offer. I mean, he would be a good piece for some of these teams. Though, right? That is why. Um, so so that's that's the thing that didn't happen. And like another him, thing though. that didn't happen, I, I like him too. I mean, he good helped piece. the Nuggets Great win piece. the title. He, he, and he was good in Brooklyn, low key. Yeah, yeah. Real he, shit. He cool. I thought he was cool in Brooklyn. <laughs> cool. I thought he was cool. I like this. I like this role in this. I like this role in this. Shit. What's what is about? I'm cool. Appreciate it. And guys, the Bulls made no moves. That's crazy. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, this That's is crazy. one yeah. where I have scratched my head at Chicago for years, Tight right? right what Tell me are they shit. doing? They don't know. That's Tight the problem. Right they don't know. They don't know. Like, right now. You hear I'm the whole to season kind of, of DeMar, La- Zach Levine said, fuck it, I'm going to go get some rebuild. Fuck you oh, right. guys. And nope. then Caruso. Been around Kobe White. Nope. Y'all laying. Who you trading? Laying it. I ain't giving up none of y'all. Everybody. DeRozan. <laughs> DeRozan's on expiring contract. We get that. I'm trying to win now, though. DeMar has an expiring deal. DeMar. I'm trying to win now. I'm taking DeRozan. DeMar in Milwaukee helps Milwaukee. And by the way. DeMar anywhere else helps Yes, DeMar in Miami helps. Miami, we like, don't help he's nobody. a good piece. Nope. Demar and Philly, just the Bulls. We don't help nobody, including right. ourselves, apparently. Right. Right. By the way, y'all the y'all entire seen the, league the wanted Alex Caruso. The the entire league wanted him. Yeah. They would have gotten but, but a good not, deal, but for not him. for three first round picks. Well, that's the thing. See? But they Their wait, so now you're was ridiculous. Right. Now you're the first round that makes me give up this piece. No, I'm cool. I'm telling you, the strategists, they watching the board. They watching this board. I'm telling you, it's just not a we not doing. I'm telling you, dog, that's why Zach Levine went to get, get surgery. No, Zach Levine went to get surgery because he heard he was going to be traded to Detroit. That part. And what I loved. I ain't mad at him. For real. Absolutely. Oh, and I love this After that part, Lakers shit went down, down, he was like, oh, yeah. hell no. Right. Right. So, I'm, I'm going to go get my shit fixed. Detroit? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, my foot. Oh. Uh, my back. Nah, come get me, and He said, oh, my, my knee. Right, right. Oh, oh. So after, after, the Detroit, after the Lakers thing seemed dead and the rumors to Detroit were picking up and it really seemed like that was going to happen. He decided to have elective okay, surgery I'll get, I'll get on surgery his ankle too. and the Bulls came out after and they had a very interesting like series of quotes of sort of like, well, if he felt that it was necessary for him at the time, that's his right to do. He got a second opinion. That's not what we recommended. We think he could have played. They were still trying to like get stuff and then no, he was like, I, I like am yeah. out of here. There was a rule back in the day when you got put on the IR, you couldn't get traded, right? Well, look. So guys in training camp to get extra that was gonna get cut, mm-hmm. they used to be like, "My back hurt," right. or something, or spraining. Always, <laughs> always fake the back. Told me that. Always fake the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so they are going to right IR, there. you know, for like another week and get another extra check. I mean, or a month, or a month. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to. But do now that. you can. And by the way, Stephen Adams got yeah. traded. He's not going to play the rest of the yeah, season. Yeah, right. But yeah, right. I like that yeah. for Houston. No, I like, I like that for Houston too. I like that. All for right. Houston. So I think Chicago should have made a deal just because they could have picked up some assets, <laughs> and they need to rebuild. They they need to just give up this middle ground oh, and shit. rebuild. This is how I feel. <laughs> what other teams should have made a deal that didn't make a deal? Golden State. I think Miami should have Sacramento. I'd like to see Sacramento make a Sacramento, deal. Sacramento, man. They need a piece. They had a great year last year, and they ain't do shit this year. Like They need a piece. They need something. They need a piece. <laughs> Take them over the top. They got to get something, bro. Something. I wouldn't even say over the top ticket. I would just say second round, maybe, and on, or, or challenged, you know, challenged. I, I think they need it. They definitely need a piece. Seeing that team day to day, and they have some assets, too. They just, they, they didn't pull the trigger. Yeah. All those teams that are like, Paul calls mid-tier, like from mm-hmm. like three to like, Nine, they need a player that takes them over the top for that top three. And if you, it ain't there, you shouldn't facts. do nothing. That's, that's what's really going on. Mm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's why yeah. I think if Chicago there, said, do nothing. if y'all ain't going to give us something better than the Rose or this version, then we're not going to take that. We'll just go right. to the free market and, and then we'll just deal with it. We'll yeah. figure it out. Absolutely. We'll continue to they're build. Not, that's, they don't, that's, I mean, that's well, all I'm saying they're not in the middle, but I'm looking at Chicago's perspective. Like, if we can't get something back, now I got to take on this news. Nah, we're not going to deal with it. We're going to deal with what we got. Don't you just want picks? 
But think about the Lakers. I mean, it's the same conversation. I mean, Lakers have a chance to win something this year, even if it's just getting no, into no, the Lakers. conference finals. No, I don't think so. They got to make the playoffs. We were saying the same thing last year. I don't think the Lakers are in a serious contention. They made a move last year. I don't think. I don't think the Lakers. They got to make the playoffs. This type of competition right now, I don't think the Lakers no conversation. I shouldn't have said win. I mean that they're in 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 the idea that the Lakers could at least make a conference finals again. That type of thing. And look, the Nuggets though, what they gonna do? They didn't do anything. They need a bench, bro. We can say that they're defending champs, they but then again, they don't have the Jeff same Green team Brown. they had last year. Green Brown was Jeff, huge for them, yeah. bro. Yeah. Green was too. Yeah, Jeff Green was big. I got a rain on your stepping up now. I got a rain on your Yo, team. Hey, we're going to talk about that Kansas boy. My boy from Kansas. Kansas. Nah, bro, that's, yeah, you I like him. Yeah. Oh, he Mike nice, though. Bron, what's his nice. name, bro? Bron, Bron, yeah, he yeah, nice, yeah, though. He is good. He's solid. He's taking that Bruce Brown role. I don't know about that. Hustle, that hustle. You know what I'm saying? Bruce Brown is 6667, bro. He is, too. Watch him. Bruce Brown's experience, too, though. He's nice. Yeah, for sure that. Hey, watch For sure that. I'm not taking away from him. But they felt like we got a. Teams that just feel like they can just plug and play sometimes. That shit is, is usually backfires. I mean, like, if you can keep your guys, as long as stars you keep is in guys. place, yeah. I don't agree with that. I think Bruce Brown was one of their stars. He, that, he, he, no, he was a hell of a role player. player. He like, elevated. He was a star. A, a lot of teams have done that. Star in his role. A lot, of, a lot of organizations have done that. Like, if you don't keep the guys, like, when we trade away Tony Allen, it's like, we can't, oh, I can just plug I mean, and play. I mean, but uh, he, wasn't, he wasn't a star, but he was a hell of a guy that you, you, you can't just plug and play everybody. Right. Like, I, gotta, I gotta rain go on your Dinwiddie parade here. Oh, yeah. He can't go to Phoenix. He can't? So, no, there's a, te- there's a list of teams that are oh, ineligible to sign buyout guys because of the way their other contracts, luxury tax, their max out. There's so much whoop in the league. Yeah, you got to stay above <laughs> <laughs> all, of this, all of this is designed, again, for the owners who can't control themselves. And so you have this, you know, kind of fake hard cap because they don't want these teams to keep spending this much money. Mm-hmm. The Lakers could still buy, still, could still take him as a buyout. Okay. Dallas could still take Dinwiddie as a buyout. Okay. Philadelphia could still take Dinwiddie as a buyout. So His phone should be ringing. Yeah, there's I'm late, so I'm going to get him. Mm-hmm. Right? Did yeah. Dinwiddie put him... Yeah, hey, but the thing is, like, he, he helps though. If, if I can get him for the low, it's twenty points. But then you gotta wonder. Yeah, if I'm a GM, I gotta wonder why is he moving around so much. Mm. Well, he didn't. He's not you had know, a good season this year. I know, but he went from Dallas okay, to back to Brooklyn I get that piece, to but, here, like in but the he's span going, of three years. But if I go play with Bron, mm-hmm. it's a whole other mindset. It's a whole other expectation that you know that organization is expecting from me. So I mean. If anybody can probably get a switch or change over, yeah. and you got it's a four five month deal, it ain't guaranteed. <laughs> he already. I didn't play with Luca. I didn't play with you KD. Ain't, you ain't named Brian. I didn't play. You ain't I named get Brian. it. I get it. But like, why is he moving so much? I mean, I like them. He's already as a player. struggling this year. I mean, I like him as a player. Everybody so takes a step back once they play so next to so I agree with that. But they, again, we talking about twenty a game. Like, he's struggling right now. I know. I would say it's twenty a game. You need to give him twenty a game. Oh, the insoles is blown out underneath. <laughs> the bubble ain't in them or something. Like, what, what's up? They don't come with the shoestrings no more? Like, something is something. You saying something with him? I like that. Like, maybe, I don't know, because I look at him as a solid player. He could be a solid role player on the championship team to me. So I have to wonder, why is he moving so much? Look, he was moving so much at the beginning because he was a desirable piece. He was but playing now, well and on a good contract. Mm-hmm. And so he became a good contract throw-in to Brooklyn in that deal for Kevin because... You know, he was certainly a good piece, like what you're talking about. Yeah. But I feel like and you also need that he had a guy, good contract. another guy that, like I said, it's a mixture of things that agree for a championship. You need a guy that wants something to prove, that's hungry, that's like, mm-hmm. that might have that drive. That he might be on that right now. Mm-hmm. So if you got that a mixture with yeah. uh, the OG, 21 years, you got AD, he might bring a new energy in. The pick and roll with him and AD, the pick and roll, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. him and Brian. It could be, that's different from Austin Reeves and, and Brian pick and roll. So yeah. it's just... I mean, I, I gotta take a look I at it. I like Spencer doing well. When I was on Washington, he, was he gave us a triple double, and I was like, "Who the hell is where that?" They gonna play. Come on, he probably gonna have to come what off mean? the bench. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely off the bench. bench. Yeah, yeah, of course. Austin Reed, he's still coming off the bench, right? No, no he's starting now. He back starts. Yeah, back starting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, he he be a bench player. And you want me to you want me to get Bron to the playoffs? Yeah. Yeah, I got. By the way, Dallas, Dallas is going to want him. Probably for the he played well sure. in Dallas too. Philadelphia yeah. might want him. You know, Philly. Philly. I wouldn't go. I don't want to go to Philly if I'm him. I mean. Is B coming back? Yeah, B coming back. They, they'd something. like to get. They'd like to get him back. Man, he ain't. He still ain't yeah, did nothing with the time. Whoever, much, dude. whoever said four months. weeks is yeah. crazy with that. Yeah, well, we evaluated him. Still ain't did nothing. Might be fucking with Aaron Rodgers, doctor. He's gonna have to be on the umbilical too, boy. He's gonna have to be doing that upper body, getting push-ups. Cause big fella sitting in there chilling. You already, man. You hear me? You don't eat good. 
Uh, uh, you know uh, what I'm saying? Big fella blow up like a balloon, boy. I'm they can beat yeah. the Celtics, though. <laughs> All right, so recent buyout market successes. I just want to reel some of these off for you. Uh, Boris Dia went to the Spurs on a buyout. Not that recent, but I'm just throwing some out there. Y'all know Sam Cassell came to you guys on a buyout at the Celtics. Ooh. Kevin Love went to the Heat on a buyout last year. Westbrook went to the Clippers on a buyout last year. Um, and you had Markeith Morris go to the Lakers. Buyout market and that, is pretty good every year. And, yeah. that, and that helped you guys win a title. Nice. It's a good so, guy. Nice. We got P.J. Brown uh, or something like that. I'm in the rough in that buyout. Nah, P.J. Brown, just, he just, he just picked up yeah. in February. He was like, yeah. Yeah, I, play. I got one player for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm ready. Now Big I feel like it. He saw him at the casino. So that's real for some teams that they could still improve over the next day or two. I was in traffic. I saw P.J. Brown cross the street. I jumped out the car. Some teams are maxed out. They can't do it. Can't yeah. get anybody. <laughs> I ran over Phoenix to my dog. Boston? Nigga, this is an all star game. What We're in an all star game in New Orleans. I think, are I'm the Warriors on that list? I see PJ Nate? walking across the street. I'm about to pull into the casino. Uh, Before I get there, I jump out. Like, PJ, we could use you. We needed a backup, one more backup big we could rely on. And I, we wind up signing. I know you brought him in. I know you yeah. Brought him in. Okay. I jumped out. And he hit that shot. Off the street. Huh? It was game I got six. him off the street. Wasn't it game six? Yeah. He hit that shot. Uh-huh. Game six, that 15-footer, yeah. Yeah, that was, man, I saw him. He, he wasn't in the league. That was a wild story. And I was like, man, you, you hear that? Yeah. I remember Pete coming to the hotel like, man, I just got, I just, I just I got P.J. Brown. I just, Brown. P- I just yeah. hollered at P.J. Brown. I got P.J. Brown, Brown number, man. Yeah. Like, what? So I see him walk across, walk across the street. <laughs> he, he was looking yeah. fit still. I was like, yeah. we can. <laughs> We can use that. You he know, jumped he, out the you car. Know, in traffic. In traffic. Was it worth know, it? In all-star traffic. Did y'all win? Yes, he did. You, you want to throw somebody to the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right. like, we he can use that because I, I love Perk, and Perk was Perk for us, but we needed a one more yeah, big member. We needed, needed more. Yeah, that was going to do that dirty. Lee was green. Man. Yeah. Uh, you know I who remember hollering at Boogie, remember party? that? Yeah, I, that's why I just, I <laughs> I wish I would have made the move for me when I was a young bro. I was like, we can use you, big fella. I remember that hollering at Boogie. If you play with that him. That would have extended our life for another real. Yeah. Uh, that's what, what I said. Man, I hollered at Boogie. I went behind him. Did you? Yeah, I tried to get him to Boston. I used to see them rumors. I'm like, that nigga please, 55, pull the trigger. Somebody on his own. I was trying to get him to Boston. I hollered remember that. Remember that after the game? I was like, we can use you, big fella. I had to holler. I'm like, Pete, what's up, bro? I, I, I was talking to him. That would have changed your life, bro. Oh, he would have extended Marty, us. I look at what? It ain't no got a couple rings. Man. I'll tell you, Boogie, ain't no way they letting you out of the shot. He look right. You know what's going on. That's crazy, bro. I not seen it. Oh, you ain't going nowhere, young I was like, he fit the mold with us. Let's lock down in here. Right. Little did I know. Yeah, All right, so P.J. Tucker forever, apparently will not be on the buyout market because the Clippers couldn't make a deal for him, and he's like, well, okay, I'm going to keep my money. <laughs> I have a hard time figuring out you, how you can't use him at all. If if the, the if, yeah, I mean, has He's so deep. But they even at the so power forward, at some time, maybe even playing small ball center, he's strong defender. They got Daniel Thies. Best communicator on the floor. Great they got talker. Mason Plumley. Mm-hmm. I like Mason They got Tears, man. Listen, mm-hmm. they, they, like, they got depth. They, go they got a lot of Norman depth. Powell. Norman Powell. Mm-hmm. I'm taking all them over PJ, brother. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Right? This is what's going to happen. What? When we get to the playoffs, one of them names you just named, mm-hmm. maybe it hurt. Maybe so. Mm-hmm. You already know how maybe it goes, so. bro. Yeah. I hope so. And guess what? He got to be ready. Yeah. When they come to him for that corner three, he got to hit it. You know what I'm saying? He got to lock somebody down. That's another thing. They did. You sitting over there marinating. Yeah. You got to yeah. be ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You always are injury away from being put in. That's one thing. He's right. professional. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, PJ a pro. He'll be real. And, he 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 and you know another that didn't get moved that I think got a lot of talents is Bones Highlands. Yep. Ooh, I like his game. He's he not game playing over there, too. Last night. I said, why he not playing? Oh, yeah. man. Where, Where he going to play? He got a lot of games. Man, he can help you out the back. Yeah, that's my young boy. Shout out to Bones, bro. He got a lot of games. Baby boy, man. Something. He could be the backup something. Over Russ? Nah, he can no, play the wing. Suck. He a wing. I just wing. named Norman Powell. I was going to say. Uh, where is he You playing? can bring five off the bench. Well, Phoenix. That is five. That is five. Look, All right, so nowhere for him to play. If someone gets got, hurt, he'll get his, West, his, his time. Who you got on the bench? You got Westbrook, Powell. Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann starts. Brandon Boston. Terrence Mann starts. At the two. Oh, Amir oh, yeah. Coffee played. Coffee been getting a lot of minutes. Ooh, he's at the took that minute. Amir Coffee. Yeah. Mere coffee Ooh. cracking by and the way. Been coffee for a while. took the minutes Co- from him. Coffee been in the for a long time yeah. too. He been coffee the one that took the minutes right there. I'm telling you, bones need to be in Phoenix. Mm. They can't get him though. 
What are you going to do with Phoenix? <laughs> he's going to get everybody the ball. You got to play for free. Nah, he's can, a scorer. He's he like not that? your scorer. Uh, can he play like that? He's a dog, bro. He's a no, bucket I, getter. I, I, oh, he's a bucket I didn't ask you, was he a nah, dog? This ain't him. Because I said, can this he run him. a team? That's what that I said. That ain't him. He can yes. get buckets. Okay. He can I'm manage a team. Bones. He can run a team I'm with them type of guys. Hey, man, I watched him do it in the second unit. That's why I'm asking you. You think Bones? Bones just No, no, no. That's different from second unit versus. No, it ain't. No, he still got to run the team. KD. What do you mean? KD. KD. Yeah, KD, Bill, and now uh, Booker. Yeah, I mean, he passing the ball. Like, that, that, that ain't that, that easy, game. bro. That ain't but I'm not saying it is easy. That, that, that I'm, saying he though. I'm saying he can do right. it. I'm saying yeah. he can do it. I like him. No, nah, he can I do it. I like him yeah. a lot. Yeah. He can do it. No. He a point is what I'm saying. <laughs> he's but he's not really like a, a distributor like that. I like him when he's he aggressive. Yeah, he's a scorer. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, So I don't know. Like, He, he might take hey, the shot. He ain't no different than Dan I'm saying he might. ain't no damn... Point guard either. He's no, a scoring but, playmaker. Like, yeah, but I think he can y'all be Y'all was all hyped for that nigga, and then we talk I'm, about Bones. Like, oh, Kenny. They the same player. It's not many no, true no, no, point no, no, guards. No, 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 no. You got years of experience, too, though. No, that's, that's, that's true. That's all I'm saying. I that's mean, he's young. What I, experience Spence really got? Like, I mean, I was young. I'm not, I'm not doubting you, fella. All I'm it, saying is. It, it ain't too it, many it, true true point you know guards fit, in the you league anymore. You know who will fit with Phoenix? Who? The kid, Giddy. You got the trade deadline okay. has passed, Man. gentlemen. It's over. But they probably put the they could have put the paperwork in before three. They could. But you know, I, you hear about trades at midnight after. from hell. Which like, paperwork? Damn, they put the paperwork in at two fifty nine. <laughs> which paperwork? What about what about, oh, look, what about allegations? Or, what, oh, oh, look, it's, you might hear a trade. Never mind, never mind. You might hear a trade tonight at eight p.m. And they was like, they put the paperwork in at two fifty nine. <laughs> Man, I didn't heard that. That didn't happen. You tell me it didn't happen before. No, it totally happened. It has that happened. happens, dog. What about you hear a trade at eight o'clock tonight. Fact like, yeah. hit the button. On oh, they the put the paperwork in. They didn't see it on the fact. Yeah, they did I'm telling you, dog. I didn't heard that over the years. Something so. Uh, okay, what about happening. campaign back to Phoenix? Where's he? Where's he at? <laughs> he was nice in Phoenix. He just got yeah. traded. Yeah, he just uh, got, right? got traded to, to Philly. Philly. Yeah. What are they? Are they keeping him? Yeah. Are they? They need help right now. They got injured guys. They got. Yeah, yeah, Chris Paul should have took right? his ass back to Phoenix. He was making too much money at the time. I was going to say, not too available. Not guaranteed. All right, I do want to hit you guys because it's not only trade deadline day. This is the day that Kobe's statue Oof. is being unveiled yeah. just yeah. down the road from nice us, be, right? You know, being fun, yeah. God damn it. So no one obviously has deserved a statue more in his home arena, in front of that home arena, and they in got the same. Staples Center. Exactly, for the Staples Center. They uh, we'll call it that forever. Uh, they got the same guy who did Michael Jordan's statue oh, no. to do Kobe's, so Only I think right. it's going to look sweet. I like the way Bank the MJ wrong. one looks. Right. Um, you Have know, you what, seen it? I, no, no one's seen it What yet. moment you think they're going to put? It's got to be a That's fadeaway, right? No. The, you Which one? Backwards? That, 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 yeah, that dunk. the backwards where he got them off of looking Oh, like when he's looking up? Or he got them, got the, you know what I'm saying? Or this one? Us and we're like, or this oh. one? No, we were like standing this. on the podium after they like beat that. us. They might do this one. Oh, word, that's hard. I mean, the dirt got a lot of he got, he got a lot of them. <laughs> he got a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of poses. Which one you put? A moment. Which one would you put? Or that windmill where his legs was like this. Uh, mm. Mm. Which one would you use? Yeah. I think it's cold. Shaq went with the two legs up. I'll right? probably right. do the one where he's backwards. With that one's cold. You're talking about when he was laying? He was laying. Yeah, yeah. Moment. When he was looking up. Right. When he was looking like over his shoulder. He said he wanted the two four. Right? Yeah, to pick one. It might have yeah, been the one against y'all where you did this yeah, shit. Yeah, I think yeah, it might. The heart? Yeah, the heart. Right yeah. This? I, I thought I saw where he said he wanted to tour. Or this one where he, when, he was on the, when he was on the podium. He jumped mm -hmm. on the table. Yeah, he jumped on the table. I mean, Dirk, obviously, the one legged, that was like a no brainer, right? Although I would that do was this the, the one I would do. That one you're talking about? That's the windmill right there? Yeah, that one right there. That was yeah. cold, yeah. bro. That's the one I'm talking about. That windmill or the That's one. Eight, though. He don't want none of those. Mm -hmm. Or that one right that there, right there, right underneath. Right underneath, underneath right there. there. Bingo, yeah, that right one. Yeah, that one. Or that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's like, I do like that one. I like that one. That's the one I'm talking about. I don't know if the folks at home are seeing this, but I like it. Or I do the one with him sitting down. In the locker room with, with the yeah, trophy. With the, uh, jacket with the jacket on. on. Yeah, yeah, that was tough. That picture would be yeah, killed. Yeah, yeah, As a so statue bad. sitting down. Oh, that'd be a cold statue. Matt, that we, one. We just had the anniversary of the crash. Very <laughs> the sit down. Yeah. You're the one who spent so much time with Kobe toward mm -hmm. the end of his career. You played with him. Then you guys were really tight post career as well. Your kids, yeah. you know, mixing up it, together. It just, it just, I mean, obviously to all of us, everyone had special moments with Kobe, and it, it still don't seem real. You know what I mean? It just doesn't seem real in, in, in the manner in which it happened. And, you know, they're, they're trying to rush to a, a tournament out of Sports Academy with Gigi and, and, and everyone else on that. But it just, I was disappointed because I just felt he was so, we got a chance to sit down with him, for, obviously, for the last interview. And he was so 
I don't even know what the word is, but he was so pressed on putting that first 20 years behind him. He didn't want to be known for the killer we all got to know. He wanted, like, and be watch this next 20 years in business. Like, his mind was already locked in on what just he would have been. Yeah, I mean, you got to think, in, in his passing, I think, what, he just got $400 million from the the vitamin water situation for, from mm-hmm. selling. So he was so hell-bent on, like, okay, my first 20, let's put that behind us. Like, watch this next 20 years. So I just loved his mentality on and off the court and, and, and being fortunate enough to be able to get to know the man mm-hmm. outside of the player and, and the father and, and the businessman and just the dude that just you can sit back and talk shit to. So, again, like I said, all of us got stories about him, but it's just it just don't seem real still to yeah. this day. <clears throat> I mean, Kevin, you spent time with him, KG, a lot of mm-hmm. all-star locker rooms against him, all the stuff. Yeah, Ben, it's dope to see them. Um, first off, man, how cold is it to get two numbers retired? That's fire. Right. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they had like a split joint out here with him mm-hmm. doing something in the eight jersey and him doing something in the two four. That'd be mm-hmm. super fire. And then let's just keep it one hundred, man. The Laker Laker Nation has just kept this the spirit of being. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I've never seen. No, you're right. I think Boston with Larry Bird and how they, you know, mm-hmm. how they hold Larry Bird to like a religion, like Kobe Bryant out here. Yeah. Like, man, you say something about Cole, bro, you'll get beat up by some random ass people out here, bro. I swear to God. I swear. If you had a light and you say yeah, anything God. about Kobe Bryant, I swear. it could be a motherfucker walking by you like this. You're like, man, fuck Cole. Nigga gonna turn around and be like, what you just say? <laughs> like, it's real out here. Even but when Kobe, he was alive. Listen, was I like swear that. to God, bro, his the spirit is alive and well out here in Los sure. Angeles. Yeah. And I've never I seen <laughs> I've never seen a sports <laughs> culture <laughs> hold one player to yeah. like a, a divine. Well, that's the thing, bro, right? Bro, he's on side of buildings. He's on side of restaurants. He's yeah. on buses. He's on, 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 when you, on, the, on the seat that you sit, on the bus seat. Like, he's, I see Kobe everywhere when I go here. Yeah. If I'm in a, if I'm in a Mexican neighborhood, a black neighborhood, uh, I don't even, it don't even matter out here. So, to see how Laker Nation has just kept that heartbeat and his, mm-hmm. his energy, bro, his, his spirit, bro. I watch TV and I, 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 I do not mean no disrespect when I say this. It doesn't feel like Kobe gone until you actually know that he's yeah. gone. Think about it. Man, he's on TV. I'm Presence. seeing him. Shoes. He's still making money. Like, he's, like he's still going, bro. Superhero. So, superhero. So, bro, sometimes, bro, I know everybody has done this, especially if you not had an interaction with him. Bro, I'll be alone and I'll be sitting here. And it'll hit me like, damn, bro, really gone. Like, it'll hit me. And I'll be dolo. Yeah. On some, just me and the L or something. Me and whatever I'm doing, right? Yeah. And it'll hit me. Damn, bro, really gone, huh? Damn. Well, look, LeBron James is in the conversation as the greatest player of all time, right? That is an argument people are making that back and forth. He will never be no. the greatest Laker of all time. No, the Lakers, no won't, Laker fans won't ever do that. They won't allow right? it. You hear me? No, he'll never be the greatest Laker, no matter no matter how good Mm-mm. history remembers him. And that's him no is. knock on Bron. Yeah, that's no. Okay. That's okay. No right. knock that's on okay. Bron. Yeah, yeah. No, bro that's is, a Kobe thing. He is infinite. They should put him, they should put Kobe Right next to the Hollywood sign up there. <laughs> he should be in the side of a mountain out here. I'm dead ass. Yeah. Uh, man, he should be in the side of a mountain. Straight up. Matt Rushmore style. What about, a new, what about a new NBA logo? I'm not even talking about Cole, maybe Ooh. Braun. Like, what about a new NBA logo? Yeah. Jerry West is for Ooh. it. Talking about yes. the wave. This anybody's got to be Ooh. cold. iPhone, get up, Dave. Bro, you do that. Right, you know what you're doing? <laughs> bro, you know what you do if you do that? Huh. Bro, that's the, that's, that is the distinction. <clears throat> You're, 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 you just broke off a whole 75 years. You're mm-hmm. getting ready to start a whole, it's going to be a whole new wave. You I, do don't that, think, you know? I don't think that. we'll see that in our life. You don't think so? It's Damn, a, I mean, it's equivalent. The it. NBA sign is equivalent to the Coca-Cola, yeah. to the Target sign at Target. You don't just go change the Target. You know, that's the brand. You don't go change the, the, the Sprite logo. You know what I'm saying? So, but I think. Oh, you modified now. The Coke yeah. sign that was day one ain't the same sign as 223. Yeah, mm-hmm. Don't and do I, that, Pete. And I think the only thing underneath and it, the ingredients is, is, that is, is the NBA, the, the, those three letters are to me what makes it. So, I mean, if you change the logo, it's still going to be the NBA sign. Right. Yeah, but. Jerry West you know, wanted. Like I feel what you're saying, though. Brand. I feel like Kobe's the, the only uh, one they can change like it for. will never see that change. Because if they made it like Jordan, you if they made the it Dallas. LeBron, it'd be like, well, why didn't you make it Jordan? <laughs> like, if you, you know, that kind of thing. Kobe, yeah. because of his passing and sort of uh-huh. the, oh, really? the way we all hold him, like, God, you could do that saw. for Kobe. I don't think you could do it for anyone else. But Matt's right. I've talked to Jerry West about it as well. Like, he's, good with it. he's like, get, he didn't want it in the first place. Yeah, he just, you know. And then, too, I don't know if Jerry West get paid for a name and likeness with that. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, he can get paid for a whole nother deal in that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he is front row. He 
always keep a GM job. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Consults and something. Man, that motherfucker stay consulting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, well, look, yeah, the Clippers yeah. are, he's with the Clippers now. The Clippers are doing okay. Can't, yeah. can't, not again. Yeah. He know basketball, bro. Definitely. You know? He, 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 and, 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 and what's that little thing that say? He don't miss. Mm-hmm. He called the pal joint in, me, in Memphis when everybody was like, why are you going to get a Spaniard yeah. from, man, he called that shit. Yeah, he did. He did. Uh, Guys, I got to give you a trade that didn't happen today. Uh Uh-oh. Shams from The Athletic is reporting that the Warriors were in serious talks with the Bulls for Caruso, and it just never came through. No no word on who it was for. Wiggins, I'm guessing. Yeah. But, and some picks, but I don't, they don't have but that I'm not much. Mad at Two what KG first rounders. Said. I mean, these motherfuckers are real life gamers. If Clay and Wiggins get out of their heads, mm-hmm. I don't see why Golden State can't make no one more run. So, this is what's scary <laughs> the Golden State Warriors and the Lakers. Mm-hmm. Yes. Man, if you're one, two, three, and four, yes. you do not want to. Yeah, listen, nah, listen, because you know what's crazy? Man, Braun, Steph, Clay, they got a button. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bro, if you. Like we're seeing the downside of Clay Thompson. Mm-hmm. Like you know how this go. You know, you know, you know how this. You know how this circle goes, right? Mm-hmm. As you come down on the downside, right, man, no, no, you no. everybody dogging you ain't shit. Trade his ass, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, oh, all shit, there he is. All, all shit. Mm-hmm. There he so is. came out, back on. Oh, ain't cloudy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Air, man, that's 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 the that's the fifty fifty probable here. Yeah. You get to a ter- you get to a uh, playoff, and Clay Thompson. Ain't in the sky, man. That's right. So those are all playable parts. That's always active. Give me, okay. Well, give me you guys' two shockers in the West. Two, te- two teams that you think can shock and make a make a run at, at in the playoffs. Minnesota. Okay, see. Me, so listen, the two young ones. Absolutely, I say that because they've been consistent with defense. Yeah. You know, those teams were not on our defensive chart at no. Yeah. You go back the last eight years, five years. No, just look at Rudy Gobert. Well, I say this to say that Minnesota's taking on Ant Man's personality. He got a right. dog personality. Right. He acts like a young boogie. But like, yeah, like anything coming at him. Uh, Draymond said something to him. Jimmy Butler shot something to him. Right. Ain't no, he, he a dog. Mm-hmm. When well, you got that. Except when uh. <laughs> That's all good. Chill. Whatever. What is it? Oh, no. We can't say that, Nick. We can't say that. If a, nigga, if a nigga grab you, bro. To Kevin's point, that doesn't affect what do you mean? either. Who? What you mean? I'm lost. What happened? Somebody grab my man like that, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, right. So right. I, can't, I can't say that all oh, no. taking on AE's personality DNA. I got you. You're right. You had a crappy season last year, and now look at him. No one could have expected that. That's nigga grabbing me. I hear you. Right. We finna tear it up. Right. You tear it up. I hear you. I remember it's when uh, me and Chris Humphreys got into it off of you. It was like, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, they was yeah. like, oh, you fucked up your record? I'm like, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have had no record at the time, man. She rich. Oh, my rich, man. Like, she rich, my homie. Yeah, Chris Humphreys. Did not expect Chris Humphreys' name to come up today. Yeah. <laughs> right. but just, who's your surprise? So you got, you got both of you well, guys. Well, I'm just saying that they're teams? taking on personalities that, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> just making them tougher, that, mm-hmm. that you know, it's an investment. So I'm just <laughs> believing in an investment. Who's your two shockers in the West? Mm-hmm. Two shockers in the West uh, to do what? Just to make a run in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, I think people are sleeping on Denver. We only talked about Denver, Thank bro. You. Like, Thank Denver you. is still the They're team be the to chance. beat. You know, I mean, they just flying under the radar. And I know Joker game ain't the most sexy game, highlight field game. Dude, are they considered, I don't know. Have you seen some they, passes? They're not considered a sleeper, though. Yeah. Yeah. They cause nobody. We ain't talked about. I mean, Denver. but you just said oh, they was number one in the West, so I don't. I don't. Yeah. I wouldn't say they're a. I'm talking about. You can't say sleeper. Denver. Bro, you can't, can't say Clippers. Well, that's my. That's why I didn't. Minnesota and DC are, t- are also right, so up there I'll for number one in the West. Like, uh, Minnesota is. You've got four my teams sleeper in the West is Dallas. Three of the same record. Dallas. Right. Is Dallas is, is my sleeper in the West. Okay. okay. Right what about? So, so by the way, Dallas. They get the big guy from Wizards. Yes. Yeah. They my sleeper in the West. Dallas. What's his name? Guy. Yeah. Dallas yeah. is my that's sleeper actually, and New Orleans. Big like fella, yeah. number 21? Yeah. 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 I like Dallas. I like him. He catch all of that lively. He catch all long. I like Dallas my sleeper, my fault. Yeah. Minnesota's a New Orleans is my other one. So one. Dallas is supposed Type to be the one that's uh, going to take the strongest, New Orleans is my other strongest one. route to Spencer Dinwiddie. We'll see how that happens. But Dallas really wants Dinwiddie. And look, we have known from back. weeks ago that as soon as uh, Charlotte made that Terry Rozier trade and it was obvious that they were breaking up, Philadelphia has wanted Kyle Lowry. Bring that boy, man home. He's from there, right? Right, yeah, he is from there. there. Bring that man home. And, and uh, Daryl wants him. And I expect that if he can negotiate that, you know, buyout with Charlotte, that we will see Kyle Lowry in, mm-hmm. in, what he got in the Philly as well. He still got something in the oh, tank. Kyle still can play? 
Kyle look, look hurt in Miami. Well, you also got to think the, he's way, 37. the way Miami runs people. Yeah. You might need hurt. to be able to calm down a little bit and get in a different system. This Philly, is not crazy for young Philly fellas. just needs a grown-up in the room right now with mm. Embiid out. Like, Philly needs the yeah, they stabilizing. Got rid of Pat. Yeah, they got rid of Pat. They, they, they need that, that stabilizing yeah. sort of yeah. idea that has respect. Right. Locker room practices. You know, when he's on the floor, he's a calming presence. Like Especially you know, Tyrese. and he That's puts his play. body in front of shit. He was under like Nick he Nurse. still is not afraid to go ahead. Oh, right, Nick, Nick Nurse. Nurse right, Nick Nurse, he's not afraid to go. He's the charge I think it's king, a great right? Pl- uh, play for Tyrese Maxey t- as well. Yep. Yeah, growth you know, teacher throughout the playoffs. Yeah, 100%. How, to, how, to, how to manage and work through it. So, in the yeah. East, who you guys got? In the East, the East. East surprise team. Surprise team. The Hawks. Sleepers. The Hawks oh, play. Listen to me. The Hawks are like the new Utah. Man, Remember, we don't like get the Hawks up out of here, boy. Man, listen to me. <laughs> this I know y'all ain't watching. About, this I know y'all ain't Hawks. watching basketball, bro. Right. Because right. for the last month and a half, Utah made like a crazy run. They Something they've been not. playing crazy. <laughs> the Hawks have. The Hawks knocked off some really good teams in the last like maybe three weeks. Now I'm not talking about the last 48 hours, 72 yeah, hours. They make, I'm talking about. You've also bro, had people drop 60 on them in the last few weeks. Y'all got that. That's cool. Y'all asked me my team. Y'all asked me something. Y'all asked me something. And then they're going to magic. And then they're going to magic right out there. Did y'all, did y'all ask me something? Yeah. Did y'all ask me something or did y'all want me to ask y'all something? <laughs> <laughs> I said the fucking Hawks. All right, so what you, what you. I said the Hawks. Surprised to do what? To do what? To do what they're doing. <laughs> In the 10th, seat, 10th spot, they're 4 and 10 in their so last you 4 and 6 in their last game. The to what? Make the playoffs? Dallas. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck? Like, I, I answered it. So the Hawks. Surprise team. The Hawks surprised me. Uh, Orlando Magic surprised me. They, they're a good team. Like Indiana. Indiana. Like, they the, and then no one talks the about the playoffs. Magic either. Indy. Cleveland is rising. No well, one's talking about Cleveland. Cleveland, Cleveland in the West. The East. So, yeah. yeah. Cleveland's, Cleveland's a little surprised, but now they're starting to get healthy. It's making sense now. So Do you see Cleveland or the Knicks making the it to the Eastern Conference oh, Finals? Oh, no. I, no. I, need to see, I need to see Cleveland more. Okay. Like they, I, I, I just need it, more consistency, bro. I, I, the Knicks. I, 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 it, it made me mad when they got beat by the Knicks, man. They got beat yeah. up by the Knicks. The Knicks outplayed <laughs> yeah, them. Like, they, you know, they, know, they beat them up. They, yeah. They've had injuries, though. They did. Randall right. was in here like, watch out. Move, watch out. They got Rudy Gobert. <laughs> <laughs> Yoked up. <laughs> they got Rudy Gobert. Uh, I just need to see Go Cleveland bear. take that next step. So, so As a group, group. though. Y'all Donovan. can't feel it. He's not in the room. Donovan Mitchell <laughs> having a great year, but he needs, so he needs help. Garland. Big <laughs> stuff. He needs all these signs. He's just, just not getting Y'all. back to no, him. He ain't been playing well. I like DG. I love my little niggas. Garland make the jump. Oh, he's been hurt? Yeah, he's been hurt. He just came back. He's playing well. I love him. LeBert been helping out. Clemens going to make a run, bro. Super I just don't think inside, though, like I said, how you said last year with Randall. Well, they, Mobley, Mobley's coming back. This. Mobley came back, and he he's there Mobley for real, year. man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he got oh, another he year under his belt. Jared Allen, they don't got no <clears throat> underneath. They I got just think they for real, bro. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like. Juju down there throwing bowls, bro. Yeah. Right, <laughs> damn. Right. Right. So just tell me, <laughs> okay, who are your final you four? Be, you could be a little final four, final four, too, man. Given what we know, now that the deadline is passed, who are your final four? They got curly top, Boston, girls and shit, bro. The four, final four, Boston. Um. Ooh, that second team is again. New York. Final four. Ooh, I like that. Now that we know where the trades have all. Boston, been. New York. Boston, and New then York. You got the um, Milwaukee. No, she, she said, said four. Final four, oh, final two, four meaning oh. two on each side. Oh, ooh. it's Damn. all good. Uh, Make the conference finals on each side. So you got Boston and New York in the conference finals. Yes, I like that. Oh, wow. All right. Yes. What about you? Um, oh. West. I was, oh, I was oh, about. You got to do the West. Sorry. My fault. Uh, let's go Clippers and. Um, mm. Go see it. Phoenix. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> see that. I'm going Clippers Denver. Thank you. Okay. For the Western Conference. I want to see that. I want to see that. You know what's crazy? Brian going to fuck it up, though. Brian going to get in here and mix it up. The Lakers going to mess up a whole bunch of shit. Okay. They're going to play spoiler, right? But that's what I want to see in the Western Conference uh, to play for the West. And then, um, yeah, I want to see. I, I, I'm, I, I'm just saying. I want to see the season in Milwaukee. I, wanna, okay. I want it. I want seven games of it. Okay. Ooh, oh, Doc going games back. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Fuck you, Doc. Fuck you, Doc. And listen, I want to see it. Seven games. Yeah. I want to see you it. You got book. Out East, mm. Boston. Uh, I like the Knicks, bro. I, I like everything they did. That, if that can go down. Bro, I like everything they did. That'd be crazy. Bro. Like, I'm they playing train. chess. Back and forth. They playing chess. That's good for basketball. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. Good for basketball. Absolutely. Oh, and it is nice to East again, too. Yeah. 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 And uh, out West. 
Clippers for sure. Right. Who the Clippers meeting up with? Faith in your old team? Reigning champions? Old team? Who's my old team? Kings? I ain't played, <laughs> played in a year. Nuggets. <laughs> talking about the Nuggets. I'm talking about the Nuggets. Bernabo Max? Uh, shit. Talking about the Nuggets. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Beer leopards. Uh, <laughs> I want <a> tea. <laughs> I want tea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go um, Clippers Denver. I'm gonna go Clippers Denver. Right, mm-hmm. Clippers Denver. Mm-hmm. Matt, what you got? I think my finals are Boston and the Clippers, but I think we uh, gonna show up. I think Boston and damn. Damn, damn. If MB didn't get hurt, I know, but I would put Philly up there, but really? I just think it's gonna take I mean it's gonna take him too long to get his motor back get healthy, for the playoffs. So Maybe I'm not gonna believe in Milwaukee apparently. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean Pat Bev gonna light a fire there. I'm 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 a, uh, damn, I wanna go next. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Milwaukee. I'm gonna say Boston, Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna say clips. Clips, clips, clips. And I want to see Phoenix get hot. Whoever made that call earlier, I like that. That's my guy. He ain't Whoever, I, I, I want to see Phoenix get hot. I'm not mad at that. All right, so you, you like Milwaukee, too, for the I East do, Conference. I, think, I, think, I, think, I, I, see, I see Milwaukee on this downside, mm-hmm. and, and, and it's just got a bunch of upside to it. Yeah. You know? It's got Giannis and Dean. Who you got, yeah, B? I think out West, <clears throat> for the Final Four, I'm going to go OKC in Denver. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> so how you feel, P? He SP. He SP. It wouldn't be P. P University. <laughs> Man, them two is the top teams right now. They, okay, so his problem. Shea Kill, Kill just is this. probably the MVP as of Zero today. playoff experience. True. I mean, but got to start somewhere. You respect right. his picks. You usually don't start in the finals, though. <laughs> shit, boy. I'm a GM of the year, player of the year, MVP, Shea. I, I mean, mean shit. that's what we're talking in. Rookie of the year. That, all that. They, they, went to the they went to the playoffs last year. You know that, right? Yeah. Where, that? where they go? To the playoffs. I'm saying, but. <laughs> First round. Yeah. All right, it was. Skirt. Let's go. So they look, that's experience. Okay. That's experience. Right. I, I it's get. his opinion. All right, look. My fault. So our West, yeah, I mean, our East. Point. It's Pete. How, what I want to see, I want to see Boston and Miami again. Mm. We need well, what some are you going to see? You think, you think they're going to get that back? Again. We're going to have to get huh? back. Yeah, think, we need that again. Okay, yeah. but you think that's happening? Yeah, we need that. You want that run back? Yeah, I need that run. I need that fade back. Run it back. I need to run that back. Yeah, I think because Jimmy, I think Jimmy in the playoffs, he just he a different, different person, bro. Different. So it don't matter where they so is. In the I, I get, but I like I like to pick up the Knicks guy for Jimmy though. Yeah. OG man, I'm OG, telling you. Man, yeah. And Randall, I mean they like Jimmy they just be taking off that cold tie and yeah, just right. put on a cape. <laughs> Somehow I'll be like, God, they a whole nother man. On yeah. and off the court. With, Ro- with Rozier too, I like that though. <laughs> I like yeah. Rozier. He ain't found his footing yeah. yet, but I like yeah. Rozier. Yeah. What? Yeah. He, yeah. At the Terry, point? That's what I'm saying. I think Miami go. Mm. That's what they needed. They I needed a point guard. Yeah, Spo, he a, he a, if I'm looking at it right now, Spo is, a, is, is the difference in these playoff matchups. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, if he got to go Spoke. against him, 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 I'm picking Spo. Yeah. And that's you know the thing with saying? Ty Lue, too, by the way. Don't sleep on Ty Lue with uh, that yeah. stuff. Question for y'all, because I think shit. Who you got for East Coast? All right. Definitely. I mean, Celtics are obvious, right? I like the Knicks pick feels good, but I also I'm not letting go of Milwaukee, man. Yeah. Like I'm I'm very curious. We got to see. Pat Bev yeah, is yeah, not the player he used too. to be, obviously. But I, I I I if they can buckle down, it's not like Giannis can't play defense, right? So they have guys who've been up for Defensive Player of the Year. Pat Bev, we know, is a problem. No matter how old he gets, I'm still going to consider him a problem until like he's just energy. feels washed. Rebound, rim protection. And like, they don't- you just feel like Brooke, that. Rick Lopez. Rick Lopez. 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 Rick Lopez. He's yeah. set third in the league in block shots. He can't shot. block shots. I'm, I'm not if picking he's in the drop. him to come out of the yeah, East. I'm just sure. saying if I'm debating between. Yeah. And so look, Boston, Philly, they're trying to stay afloat till Embiid gets back. And, and once he gets back, you know, he'll have time to work in if they can make it through the early rounds. But I just don't see him being 100% in the way. So, I don't know. In the West, I have Clippers and Denver. To me, that's an easy one. Um I'm Y'all need to put more respect on the Nuggets' name, as far as I'm concerned. Not <laughs> I got a question for y'all because four of us play for him. Is this Doc's last run? If Doc don't turn nothing up in the next two years with this team, maybe three at the most, is this is he done as a coach? Because he's been handed some great teams. I think if he wins one of these, I think it's, it stins him. And I think that if he goes out uh, 0 for 3, it's over. I think he's... Cool I, th- I think I think it might cut you off. It may be how he goes out if he if he loses. Like he can't lose another game seven. You know, mm-hmm. he can't blow another lead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, I mean, those are. I think those might be a, a big factor in him. But yeah, yeah, same. 
He got something. On some, oh, no, he coming. Boy. Oh, he got some dirt. He, he got he shit in the back. Coming. Boy, I tell you, he, he, he got some Keep him one. <laughs> he, took that, he took that job for a reason because he, he knows what type of players he, well, he needs to be. He knew who they were oh, yeah. already, though. Yeah. yeah, he already knew them. What'd you he say? took that job. He was a consultant. Yeah. He knew who they were. Yeah, he, this yeah. part. I don't, think the money, I don't think the money, I don't think the money, obviously it's incentive, but. 40 million. <laughs> <laughs> Coach is getting that bag I'd now. like to say that would be incentive Big for one. me to go anywhere. <laughs> Nigga lost 27. That's it, that's true. Right, like that's many does not matter. No, 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 no. I'm listening, but two, you got to also think about, huh? you got to think about two, <laughs> yeah. the job he got to do. Man, yeah. you know, that, that's, that, that's a hell of an ass to come in, in season. They got a whole system. You know what training camp is but, for? But listen, though. You remember, he was their consultant. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. He, so he's, he's in the meeting. He's in the coaches' meetings. He's seeing this shit. So he's not like, and he's just jumping to something new. His strength is bringing motherfuckers together and yeah. then motivating them. Yeah. Making and them believe. he got the respect. Yeah. yeah, making them believe that blue water is purple. Like, he, Doc is a great yes, motivator. Is. Maybe in game, is. he could use some work and some help. But yeah. as far as motivating, getting motherfuckers <laughs> right. on the same page, sure. right? Sure. Doc is the shit. I give him that, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Did you guys feel when he was hired in Milwaukee? Was it like knowing that y'all play for him? Was it sort of a bit of like what the fuck, or was it like, oh yeah, that makes sense? I asked him. We, okay. you know, we chopped it up. We was in uh, for the in game yeah. season. We was oh, all yeah. in Vegas, and then we was getting ready, you know, get ready to break. And I was like, bro, would you? Would, is this it? You going if an opportunity come up, would you coach again? He was like, ah, he sat up first. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. and I was like, yeah, that motherfucker coaching, yeah. yeah. He knows something, right? He knows <laughs> something, You got all, all them kids out the house, he's stacking, ah, uh, you getting all this bread, yeah, would you have it? <laughs> he gave him the political answer, but me and Pete knew that, yeah, that was a Ooh. yes. All right, all right. So, he could get to the conference finals, no one's picking them for the finals or to win. Who y'all, who's your champion Boston before we get Clippers. out? Who's your champion? Clips. Oh, I'm going for it. What? I'm going for it. I got the C's, bro. I would love to see. I love to see. I love, to see. I, I love Joe. Taylor's like, my favorite uh, player. Spend some time with him, but like I said, T. Lou's he's gonna be tough That's to beat awesome. in the finals with, with, with the strap he's got, with the whips he got. Yeah, yeah. Missoula, okay, the you, coaches are gonna come into play. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be mad. I think way. Missoula gets gets more flack than he should. Uh, but, but he was exposed last year in the playoffs for sure. So obviously he had to get better, and he will, and he has gotten better. But T. Lou is a is a is an evil genius up here. Yeah. No, amen. You got Pete for sure. I think this is going to be the start of a rivalry because uh, mm. both of these teams, I think, are built championship contenders for the next five to seven years. Mm. So I think Boston and Denver mm -hmm. uh, in the finals. Okay. Um, mm. With Boston mm. the beginning of their dynasty. Mm. Well, Boston's got to win soon, right? Yeah, they got to win now. This, they got the they youngest, they got the youngest I mean, score. Well, you got to think because their boys are still stars. young, though. We're saying now, but they still No, I'm saying, young. but that's but the, I'm talking about the, the city of Boston. It's Psychologically. Like, it's always like. Yeah, I was going to say. Like 27, 28. He's still a baby, city right? City of Boston. Yeah, they're they're six, right? Yeah. City of Boston. Yeah. And, 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 next, said, and, 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 and they was just there. That's why it's like they were just there. They've been this perennial contender, right? And then the way they lost to the Heat, bro. and then the way before that they lost to the Warriors. Yeah, Let's both, not kid yeah, ourselves, they should have won that final, still. right? Still so yeah. I think there is pressure on Boston, even though they've got runtime. I think there's pressure on Boston you, to win but now. You can't take each year for granted. No. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're 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 an e uh, injury away. You're a, a bad trade. I mean, you, know, co just, you can't take. So that's why it's like it's, it's now. Right. They've been there. They've been to the finals. They went to the conference. Like it's just. So yeah. do you feel though that they're gonna win? Do you think they're gonna punch that ticket? Do you think they're gonna win it all? Or would you pick someone else? This is the team to do it right here. It's time. I love that. This team. Is you think, team you think it's the team to do it? <laughs> this this is. is the team to do it. It, it is. is. But I can't see them beating the Clippers. Porzingis got to stay healthy. Yeah. Yes. First you definitely got to stay yeah. healthy. Yeah, they need every, all, 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 all. Playoffs is different, man. Yeah. Everybody, all, all hands different. on deck, yo. Straight up. And they're going to need every every piece of weapon they have. I just love the Clippers' depth and I love their coaching. Exactly. That's that's why I say depth. Exactly. And what they've guys who have all been there before, right? That's right. You've got a right. two-time finals right. MVP on that team. Listen, you got the finals different. Yeah, people they've forget, been there. But. People forget you got Kawhi over there, and he's like the he quiet star, the quiet. Bro, having a career year, too. He's yeah. not even in right. MVP why, talk. Why, why you know what I'm saying? Exactly my he question. is not in MVP why is talk. Why is he not in, in the conversation? It's like I'm what not P saying he's going to win, but in he's the conversation, flashy. he should be there. He hasn't been consistent. Uh, I think this year he's been very consistent with playing. He had like he's nine games. He had like 30 in a backs. row playing back-to-backs. I think Kawhi's narrative has been beat up so much that it's kind of overshadowing his, his current and what mm -hmm. he's doing. Bro, he's on the best team 
or one of the best teams in the league, and we ain't even talking about nobody and have an MVP from that team. Yeah. Well, the argument is he's got so much help. That's that's the people who I, I think he should be, but I'm just saying. And the yeah. other flip side is that he's got so much help, and a guy like Shea doesn't have that kind Every of help. Every good team like, has help. Right. Yeah. Shea got help. You Shea know what I'm saying? I don't understand that though. narrative. No, he got the – no, he he got got I think he's a door, though. Like, <laughs> like, you got a second all-star or arguably a third all-star as compared to a dude who don't have that. He gets deluded. But if you're a number one seed – you're probably gonna have a second All Star. Shea, I mean, uh, not uh, Shea Gilgis don't. They, yeah, he ain't got no. But Shea Gilgis. LeBron won Joker MVPs don't. with Dwayne Wade sitting next to him. You know so like, I, 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 I don't buy that you can't win an MVP yeah, if you got to get first All Star. I don't understand the criteria. Huh? You yeah, but, but you, got, you said you named like Man, you got All Star when you make the All Star team. Hmm. You got some players. You got PG. No, I know it's I mean, a lot. Play. It's not just role players. Yeah, it's just great role players. Great role players. And then then they've been in that system for a while. That's why I appreciate and understand as well. It's like fourth year together, third year together with P and Kawhi. Oh, I think it's like fourth. No, because when I was there, they were like, yeah. They've, yeah. they've been together for a minute. Yeah. I like that. Zubac, T Man, you know what I mean? Like, they got a lot of coffee. Yeah. They got a lot of guys that's been there for a while in that system that understands, okay, they've made their mistakes. They've been they've taken their nicks from the Dallas when I was there that year. Like, like they've they, they tested. They've been, they've, they've been battle tested. They definitely battle. I think this might be the year. Man, yeah. listen, you know who also going to shake the rattle the, 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 the whole Indiana? Yeah, Indiana them earlier. and Orlando, those, it's going to be some spoilers in here, dog. Mm. There's going to be some. I got, I got those two. Hey, Listen, bro, I say this. Man, I got man. it. I, I get it. I get We're it. Today. Who wins the finals? Well, I'm just saying, bro. Oh, when sleep. you fall asleep on these teams because they're not then. sexy, all right, that's when you get you're in a dog fight. Get where you better shoot. Get where you better shoot. I'm like, just talking about like, like Orlando. Like, motherfucker, Orlando is a real contender, dog. That motherfucker just like, for what? I was going to say. What? Get it. I think, man, what? Get it. I did the I'm talking investment. Let's wrap this. Man, listen, wrap it up then because I'm talking investment. I'm talking investment. Investments. These teams are going to be in the talks in the next three to four years. So I'm telling you, they're investments. Oh, you right. okay. I'm I'm just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I just said yeah. they're spoilers. Hey. Spoilers. Hey. Hey. Get the definition of spoiler. Your hey, he put said, spoiler up on he, the screen, he said, ra- he said wrap it up then because. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking spoilers. Hey. Okay, I want to know who Boogie's champion is, though. Who did you, who's your pick? I like L.A., the Clippers. Mm-hmm. I, 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 just everything that's that's rolling with them right now. They got a great chemistry. They, you know, you got the homegrown guys from LA. Uh, I think they all got a chip on their shoulder. Uh, over the past couple of years, each of those stars have taken their licks as far as you know being devalued. You know, people looking at them differently, saying they're washed. You know, the different bullshit that comes along with this shit. So, uh, I think them dudes got you know a big chip on their shoulder, being led by a mastermind in T. Lou. Mm-hmm. I think it's just perfect time. Man. I'd love to see Russ and Harden both get rings. Yeah. I mean, PG yeah. too, obviously, 100%. but Russ and oh Harden God, put with the way they was yeah. been yeah. dogged out. Yeah. PG deserved yeah. it too. Yeah. Of your former teams, the Clippers and the Celtics, which one are you picking? Or, or Denver? Who are you picking? I think Celtics going to win it all. Celtics. You're, you're <clears> Yeah, I think Celtics. they win it all. Okay. I think, I think all right. they get over the hump. I know, like I, the f- they've been battle tested. They've been yeah. the conference mm-hmm. finals. Yeah. They've been the yeah. finals. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it's similar to what we saw uh, with, you know, with the Bulls when they had to just get over the hump. And, uh, you know, it don't, it, when you battle tested like that, it, it really put a chip on your shoulder. And that's what I seen when I went to training camp from them. They look, they look pissed this it year. It was different. Mm-hmm. It was different. You know, and I think the addition of Drew Holiday and the emergence of Derek White, mm-hmm. them is, you need guys like them to win. Oh, yeah. You know, them is the guys that's going to hit the big shots to make the big plays. You know, you're going to get whatever you're going to get from your superstars, but them other dudes is the key. I think, I think this is going to be a game seven finals. Right. I would love it. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really, really good final. Game of depth, yo, because the Clippers got a good All solid 7-8, and the, and the C's got a good solid 6 Clippers seven. got like 11. Got a solid team. Yeah, Clippers got 11. <laughs> <laughs> Clippers are deep as a bitch. Yeah, but they uh, need Kawhi to stay healthy. Nah, they it, got all, a solid it all goes team, away if Kawhi doesn't uh, stay healthy. Damn, they're 12. <laughs> Hell no. They got I, a solid 7. I, that's just like, like, seven? I like Lou's experience, Ooh, Clippers. Yeah. Clippers got a solid 7. 7? We was yeah. just talking about Bones Island who can't even crack the rotation. Okay, who you got? I think ticket mean like when you get to when the top of the time to go. Some of them can't play. They playing 10, no, bro. So, no, they yeah, playing 10. Who? No, Tiglo ain't playing 10. Tiglo ain't playing 10. Who not going to play? Shit, Tiglo ain't playing 10. Uh, so play hold on. Who's going to start? He might not Mason finish Plumlee the game. Mason Plumlee will not Who's see the playoffs. Mason Plumlee uh, hurt. Mason no, Plumlee is starting. Mason Plumlee is starting. Is he back now? Okay. Yeah, he back. Right. Uh, what's the last time you see it? The, uh, the other kid, he not playing Who? in the playoffs. Coffee. Coffee's Coffee. not playing. He will not see the playoffs, yeah. right? Well, not deep in the so playoffs. So that's six. Yeah. 
That's six right there. He won't first play. round, maybe. Powell's going to be in that shit. You know, you know how that goes. Norman Powell's going to be in there. Terrence Mann's going to be in there. Westbrook. That's it. Westbrook. Westbrook. That's it. That's it. And one big. And big. Here, uh, the boy, Ty, uh, Theus. 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 Yeah. Now, uh, Plumlee is going to play over Theus. Yeah. I don't Bet. think. Bet. I think Bet. Zoo, I think Zoo going to be Bet. there. T. Lua, take that motherfucker up to seven. I don't know. Oh, he playing for Everybody got names. Zoo's going to start and not finish no game. Yeah. Oh, no, Zoo ain't. Huh? Bones and, play and then, right now. And then shit, Bones and PJ hardly play. Bones and PJ Tucker could come come alive uh-huh. too. He's hurt. Yeah. No. Who hurt? Zebo, uh, big fella. Tice not hurt. No, Zubak is hurt. No, he's not. No, he's not. He Zubak was night. in plain clothes, like looking like me and Boogie. No, they played, played last night. Just played last night. Played last night. He played yeah, last why? night. Too. Yeah. When I seen him, he was in clothes. Yeah, no, no, but now he playing. He's been back just two games. Yeah, he just got back. Yeah, he just got. I'm saying he back. And that's Plumlee why is Plumlee the main is in, the, in the thing, though. So, that's like, if they all healthy. Actually, Plumlee was out, too, early in the year. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So, if Plumlee is yeah. healthy, it's Plumlee and him. Yeah. And Tice is third. Well, look, I love – it was a lot of fun when teams go on dynasty runs. I was in Chicago for, for the end of that run. You obviously got your ring from the Warriors yeah, in the run. That was crazy. so crazy. But I do like the fact that now we have – you guys are arguing about three teams that if they won the title, no one would be surprised. Denver – Celtics, Clippers, Clippers mm-hmm. right? And, th- and there's always going to be one more that we're not expecting right. at this moment. But it, the fact right. that the NBA is so competitive that we can't say, oh, this Clear team's pass. definitely going to win it. You're like, this is se- it's going to be a seven-game finals. That's my favorite stage in the, the NBA when we're at it. one of those. Yeah. And Very I think awesome. we've got that right now. So interesting to see who moved and who didn't in the trade deadline. It was wonderful spending it with y'all. I love the, you know, it doesn't matter if trades happen. We all just sit around and shoot Ritter. the shit. A lot of good Ritter. A lot of good Ritter. Wish Take you it. was in the league, big fella. Real oh, shit. Give me man. some, Lloyd. Give me some. Real shit, nigga. You one of the biggest niggas. Real shit. You one of the coldest niggas I've seen play this mm, motherfucker. You hear me, my nigga? Real Absolutely. shit, bro. You should still be in here. Mm-hmm. Niggas in the game. I ain't going to say who they are. I'm watching them on TV. I'm like, why the fuck is Boogie Cousins not in the league? What did Jay-Z say? Some of y'all don't even belong here. Facts. <laughs> some of y'all not in the category. Said that. <laughs> that was real. <laughs> That's real. You should be in the league, big fella. Hey, Lee. It's a lot of labradoodles. Hey, the it's, a, it's a lot of labradoodles. What are we doing? <laughs> a lot of labradoodles. Man, <laughs> bro. He is crazy. That's bro what they want, though. That's, bro a, need, that's bro what they want. Bro, bro. bro. It's yeah, a nice dog's league, man. You know nice bro need to be in the league. <laughs> bro need to be in the league. <laughs> Fuck all that. You know, I, I think you should be in the league, but also I like that you're with us, so I'm not gonna, not I'm not gonna holler. We, we're in the new line. You definitely exactly. won the best dress today. That boy came through killing. Yeah. What I do, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, man. Excuse me. It's like yeah, you look good, right? <laughs> hey, 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 hold on, hold on. What? This five and this prime, we win one. Yeah, a we couple, huh? What? Oh. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, what do we got? This five right here. We get the most texts out of the whole league right here. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, y'all. It's fine right here. Right here. You, you throw it back. I'm about to say this. Hey, it's fine right here. We're going to win. We're going to win. I'm winning. We're going to win. And we okay with that. We're going to win. We're going to win. Oh yeah! Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Big baby coming off yeah, from the We got a funky delic in the house. We got a sick this, man this behind us. Exactly. Tough, exactly. Oh, 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 definitely oh. intimidating some what? motherfuckers. What? Damn. That's why he'll beat these niggas ass. <laughs> niggas ain't shit. <laughs> Saying the loudest shit too. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck these niggas on three. That's your turn. And we still right. on that. Right. We was on that. Oh y'all was on that. Yeah. We was on that. Yeah. Y'all niggas was definitely bullies. Put that ass on three. Right. And we know the curtain right here. The curtain right, right here. Yeah, that's what we saw. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Well, oh, well, love well look, love if y'all aren't going to be on the court, the fact that you can be here together, and this is just the beginning, right, KG? We're going to do more of these things. We need them. I was just about to say, Rach, we need to do this like once a month, y'all. Yeah. It's always great to see y'all. It's always great to build and be in a circle and hear different uh, POVs of basketball. We all love the game. We all love talking the game. There's so many things that I feel like we can talk about mm-hmm. that I don't never hear no other motherfucker talking about. Yeah. And that's what I love about this. It's a safe place. Everybody hear themselves. Ain't nobody, mm-hmm. this ain't no script or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Stack, too. He had a sinus infection. Big old nose. A lot of, lot of, lot of activity up there. <laughs> but we miss you, dog. <laughs> we miss you, dog. Shots fired. Damn. <laughs> Hope Stack good, though. Stack. Shots fired. Y'all going to know, 
Yeah, we're going to be out there. Even, gonna gonna even when you're sick, you got to wear the vest. So. So. Okay, yeah, but so. we'll be back. And we're, once the playoffs start, we're going to do Let's more do of it, these. And we'll do a few in between and stuff. Is this certified so. smoke? Is that what this was? No, or we're just is, live, man. Just we're just shit. doing we're new. Yeah. Trade, Trade deadline, deadline live. We're going to do more lives. That's that's what we want to do. We want to do more lives with this crew and get people. And look, people can once we get a routine down, people can start writing in questions on the YouTube comments and stuff. And we'll we'll chop it up. It'll be great. I love this. I love this group. I got to ask this before we get off it. Y'all two got to join together. I saw y'all shit with Rachel. Y'all got the... Y'all got the yeah, y'all got some going. Yeah, y'all got, got the one four going. Oh, yeah, we y'all got the one five going. Are we announcing it? Uh, yeah, he's he a part of the family now. Yeah, oh, raise your man. Welcome, hey, welcome. Man, what is it? Dude? Yeah, welcome to the All the Smoke production. Hey, here you yeah. go. Hey. Hey. Good Welcome. Hey, Tiki, he hit me the day. We still cool. I was like, come on, bro. You know you ain't gotta ask that with us. Yeah. We still with us for sure. He's like, all right. he's like, all right. I'm just making sure my fly to be there. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. 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 Oh, good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. We can't start know. making those. Just no. We're all good. Hundred <laughs> percent. I'm psyched. I'm psyched to have the Kentucky guys uh, on the pod soon. We're gonna have a little little uh, shake down there. It'll be great. Hey, let's get it. Mm-hmm. Right. Absolutely. Let's get Thank it. y'all for joining us. We will be back sometime soon, but for yeah. today, we loved having you with us. We'll Congratulations see. to everybody who traded, and you didn't get traded, you didn't want to. Congratulations right. to that, too. Right. Make sure you rent, don't buy. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. <laughs>